Hello, everyone, and good evening. Uh, today, uh, well, you know, you're about to see. I, I did something uh, with this stream that I, I don't know if it was a good idea, but it is, it's already done. And, and so we're just going to have to roll with it. And we're going to see, we're going to see how it goes. All right. Um, everyone knows by now that the video game Gollum uh, that has come out recently has fell a little short of the mark. A lot of people's expectations. So we went ahead and made a Gollum AI to help us play through the game. Um, maybe it'll be a little bit nicer having a, a golem that you can talk to and we'll, uh, we'll hopefully accurately respond in a way that we're all, we're all happy with, you know? Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah. Lord of ring. It is the Lord of ring game. That's right. This call me talking to chat right now is so cool. All right. Well, okay. It's me. I, I'm I'm the Gollum AI. That's not I'm I'm I am Kraken, okay? There's gonna be two people on the screen. There's gonna be me and then the Gollum AI. I'm I'm not the one I'm not the the real Gollum AI, okay? Amazing graphics. Wow, thanks guys. You wanna see the real one? He's gonna scare you. He's gonna pop up, he's gonna pop up right on top of chat. Alright? Don't say I didn't warn you. Get ready. Oh, never mind. <laughs> let me uh, let me activate him real quick. He's currently asleep. Okay, yeah. So there's actually two models. There's Gollum and Smeagol. You guys you want to see Gollum? There he is. There is Gollum in the flesh. His eyes uh, track you as well. You see here, little roundabout. Yeah, this is a, a fully fleshed out Gollum character. Really impressive stuff. And goes beyond that. We also have Smeagol. See if you can if you can tell the difference here. This one's Smeagol. I hope he has a hat. No. He's got a little smile now. You like it? He looks a little nicer, doesn't he? Not so bad, right? He's happy. It's actually cuter. I mean, that's that's how he gets by, guys. He's already tricking you. You know? He's he needs a hat. <laughs> I don't think he ever has a hat. I don't think I'm not gonna change Tolkien's vision with this, you know? This is we're trying to be as close to, to Tolkien's reality as possible. McLean, think of the gifted sub. He's the Trixies. Give him some hair. He has hair. Look. See? There it is. <laughs> what a cutie. Anyway. He's going to be great. Um He's going to be great. So let me. We're gonna we're gonna test it right now. I I've I've already made the prompt for the AI. I have the voice for the AI. The voice may take some tuning. Um, I'm gonna we're gonna test it right now. So, um, make sure that none of the other ones are active. Okay. Now I'm going to give it a, a test run. Hey, Gollum, good morning. Hmm. 
in a second. Okay. All right. Hold on. Now I need to hook him up to the application. He did respond. We just have to generate one response first before I can visualize him. Okay. go. He said this. Good morning, Precious. What brings you to disturb our rest? <laughs> Why does he sound yassified? He's got like a lisp. Guys, I told you, all right, it's going to be a scuffed, it's going to be a scuffed voice. We had to generate it uh, based on limited files. I used a mixture of uh, voice lines of Gollum from the Lord of the Rings Lego video game, my own impression of Gollum, and the Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle-Earth middle game. And then those combined have turned into whatever this is. So it's, um, yeah, going to be probably less than ideal. But that's also, I think, fair to the game that we're playing, you know? Not rocking with this one. <laughs> what do you mean, Wobo? Come on. You're gonna you're gonna rock with this one. Here, let, let's give it another try. Hey Gollum, I think there's something shiny in that cave up there. Do you think it could be the ring? Maybe. I don't know. Thinking. Just thinking for a minute. Is he okay? Hey, Gollum, are you right there, precious? You already went to the cave. <laughs> We're fine. We're fine. Thank you for asking. No need to worry about us. <laughs> His voice is weird. It does not sound good. He sounds like a politician. All right. We can keep messing with the voice. Uh, what about if I... I can... Up the variability. Turn up the squeak. All right. Let's try this again. Gollum, do you think we should go in the dark cave up ahead, or should we take the high ground and go through the meadow? The caves, the caves. That's the way we must go, Precious. There may be treasures inside. What? What is going on with this interpretation of his voice? <laughs> uh, I guess happy Pride Month, everyone. I, I promise I didn't, like, program it this way. This is kind of, this is how it turned out. Um, <laughs> yes, Precious. Let me, what if we, okay, I'm going to try lowering the, the variability. Maybe that'll change it. He's really fruity. I don't know what's going on. All right, let's go to the caves. Can you lead the way, Gollum? I'm a little afraid of the dark. Of course we can lead the way. The darkness is our ally. We'll guide you through the caves. Don't worry, precious. Oh, <laughs> God. It's worse. <laughs> it's worse. He's got like, it's like little ASMR quality. 
What was that? This is maybe the worst AI we've made, I think. This one's really... This one's gonna kind of take the cake, I think. Um, I'm really afraid to talk to him. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Potato, for the two-month resub. Let me... Hey, guess what, Gollum? Potato, just subscribe to us. Potatoes, pr precious. Potatoes. Fuck. I fucked that up. He's not gonna... He hates potatoes. Potatoes, precious. Very nice. We like potatoes. Thank you for letting us know. We'll add it to our stash of precious Twitch subscribers. <laughs> He's got a stash of them. I don't know he had a stash of Twitch subscribers. I actually don't even know where he got that. Because I, in his prompt, we don't mention Twitch whatsoever. So. Not even doing the voice. <laughs> I... I don't know what to, t I want to tell you guys. I It's recorded with Gollum voices. The Gollum voices are real. It's just the way the AI has interpreted it is in a very questionable way. Um, let, me, let me turn similarity boost up. I'll turn variability down again. We'll see if it's any better. Gollum, have you ever heard of Smeagol? Smeagol, asterisk Gollum makes a pained face and hisses asterisk. That name is not to be spoken of, not to be mentioned. It's our old name, our past, our shame. All right, my bad. <laughs> You're right, my bad. <laughs> our shame. Holy shit. I, I think the writing for this Gollum might be better than the game we're about to play, you know? Dead naming Gollum. <laughs> Fuck, you're right. I'm sorry. I won't. I'm sorry, Gollum. I won't mention that name ever again. Um, I, have a good day. <laughs> why? Why did I keep talking? Um. Yes, yes, very good. Asterisk Gollum grins slyly. Asterisk, thank you, precious. Have a good day too, and watch your step in those caves. Thanks. I will. Um, uh, well, all right. I think that's enough testing. Are we ready to jump into the game and see how it goes? Watch your step in the caves, grins. Is there a gremlin or a goblin slider on his voice? Unfortunately not. I can't really further gremlin or goblinify it. I think part of the problem is some of the files that I used to train it have like reverb on it, which is why it sounds kind of weird at times. And that also may have messed up uh, his tone. But also, I have no idea why he turned uh, Yasified. I don't have any. I don't have any excuse for that. Did you get the Sindarin VA DLC? Hell no. I didn't spend an extra 20 bucks on this to get to a, a part of the game where elves talk in Elvish instead of English. No, I'm not doing that. Did you get the emote DLC? I also didn't do that. Guys, I I didn't want to buy this game. I I paid I paid for this game so I had an excuse to use this AI. All right? Not the other way around. The, the AI is, is the show here. Ready? All right, Gollum, are you ready to begin our adventure in Morador? Why'd I say it like that? Why'd I say it like that? Oh, yes, we're ready, precious. We'll show you the way to the fires of Mount Doom. But be wary. There are many dangers and creatures in Mordor. Okay. Thanks, Gollum. <laughs> Why is he being so seductive? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
Anyway, um, yeah, let's give the game a try. He's been alone for 500 years. Uh, I don't think the AI understands the context of Precious. I mean, maybe. But Gollum kind of called everything Precious, didn't he? AI is probably just going off of that. I don't know if we can blame the AI. It's doing its best. I'm the one to blame. I did this. I take responsibility. What is the name of this game? T O M? Guess so? All right. Oh, brother. Okay. Buckle up. He has a lot more hair. Hey, Gollum, what happened to your hair? Hair? What hair? Asterisk Gollum scratches his head, revealing his bald scalp asterisk. We don't have any hair left, Precious. It's probably all fallen off from the stress of carrying the Precious for so long. <laughs> oh, at least he's self-aware. He's like, yeah, I lost my hair because of the ring. <laughs> Fair. True. Fair and true. Oh, boy. All right. Um, Gollum hair simulation. On. Ray tracing mode. I don't trust it. I already hear my computer powering up. The hair can crash the game? Uh-oh. Okay. Why? So there's a setting for that. Gollum, do you think we should turn hair simulation mode on or off? I think he's going to be a little thrown off from this question. Hair simulation? What's that precious? We don't know anything about fancy computer things like that. We're just a simple creature trying to survive in the harsh world of Middle Earth. Okay, fair enough. I, I expected too much to ask. <laughs> what is that? Wait, let me, um... His hand's getting cut off when he's talking. Let's see if this is good. Alright. New game. Here we go. Uh, if there's any question why he sounds different, it's because of the split personality uh, between Gollum and Smeagol, and it's in the lore, so don't... don't Without worry. me, eyes are marbles. No darkness they see. Faces look garbled. No flurry they feel. No breath, no cheer. Death not to fear. Time is not spent, loses has no scent. At nothing you can marvel without me. But it wasn't roses, my precious, not roses. Lilies, not lilies, not roses. Which one was it, precious? Someone's coming. Oh, man, a in the hat and a cage upon his back. 
We may provide you with a car. There is no hope for him, I fear. The creature is lost. Well, let's see how he responds to some light. Randolph? Someone tortured him. Long before the Dunadan found him. The darkness grows beyond our borders. My people are growing anxious. We cannot let this evil linger among us. We believe that he went to Mordor. That's what I feared. What did he hope to find, I wonder? Believe us. I want to hear what he has to say. Gollum, Gandalf is coming for you and he wants to know where the ring is. What do you tell him? Why don't we start? No, no, we can't tell him. We can't let anyone have our precious. We You're must real, protect it at all costs. Not the one others means. have given you. Gollum's eyes narrow and he considers his options. Lying to Gandalf. We don't know where the ring is, precious. Very well. We lost it. Let we us did. try someone else's name. Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> yes, you He's remember lying. him. He found you more than 60 years ago, deep underneath the roots of the Misty Mountains. He took something from you. <laughs> A ring. No treasures. You were looking for it, weren't you? You left your home in the mountains. Wizard off. Worming your way down the hills, always hiding from the moon. You follow the Hobbit's trace all the way east to the Lonely Mountain. Off camera? I but guess. then you stop and turn south. Why? <laughs> oh, RTX is off. Something must have drawn you away. A voice calling you to the land of shadow. Leave us alone! Whispering your name in your dreams. Not listening. So, once again, what is your name? Smeagol. Very well. Smeagol. Now, let us start at the beginning. That's his shame. Gandalf made him tell him his shame. Is this a two-hour stream? We'll see, man. If, if the AI makes it fun, then maybe we'll do another one. But otherwise, I'd rather not pay for this game.
track monkey, yeah. Let me turn it down a little bit. The, the the audio balancing has been a little bit all over the place so far, so I'm not really sure what volume I should have that. Um, days near, go back to your cave. jump. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit. And up, and up again. Oh. The Mountains of Shadow. That is where you are hiding. You mustn't ask. Why is it asking us questions? Why? You know why. Hey, Gollum, did you hide in the Mountain of Shadow when you were living in Mordor? Let's see if he lies to me. Because he's going to lie to Gandalf, but I don't think he's going to lie to me. Yes, yes, we hid there for many years, Precious. It was a dark and terrible place, but we found comfort in its shadows. Maybe we can show you the way to the hot springs if you're lucky. Hey, thanks. That's really nice of you. That sounds really nice. I'd love to go to the hot springs with you, Gollum. Yes, yes, very nice, precious. We'll show you the way, but we must be careful not to disturb the watchers in the water. They can be very dangerous. In the hot springs? Wait, what's in the water of the hot springs? Harmless little fish and plants. Don't mind us, we're just joking. The water is perfectly safe. Gollum's voice trails off as he glances furtively over his shoulder. Oh. Okay. <laughs> just plants and fish, guys. Mount? Okay. I just have a different interpretation of it then. Griff Bones, thank you for the reset, man. An orc cave? Orc live there. Yes, hiding from the great eye, we think. Long gone. When we came, the nasty orc. Long dead. Oh. Is this the hot spring? You must have had friends once. A family? They kicked us, cast us out, cast them all, cast them. <laughs> it was our birthday. Yes, it was. Your birthday? 
That's sad. Gollum, do you remember when you had a birthday? What's the noise? I probably shouldn't bring that up. A birthday? What's that, Precious? We don't remember anything about that. We don't have time for such frivolous things when there's Precious to be found. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. I wouldn't bring, you know, it's a blocked out traumatic memory. How did you find it? Your precious. <laughs> Nasty light! <laughs> Smeagol wants to sleep! He cannot sleep now, but I shall dim the light for you. Oh, thanks, Gandalf. Talk to Orc Skull. No nice friend was he precious. <laughs> Not tricking us now, is he? Hmm? No. No. Not anymore. So dumb. Thank you for the Prime sub. And Solaris Prime. Thank you for the Prime sub. Perhaps she helps us now, the great spider. Perhaps. We both are beasts to eat. Yes, and crunchy orcs but she doesn't like them much. Uh. I like he's done this like arts and crafts thing. Make for all of his friends. And if she's unhappy, what does she do then, my love? Wraps us all up like spindles. No, not for her tunnels, not yet. Must bring her nicer things than oxes. So you never left that cave? Never. And no one ever saw you? No one. Uh oh. Ratatouille, thank you for what Enough about birthdays right now, Gollum. I think there's a bird spying on us. A bird. Asterisk Gollum looks up, his eyes darting around Asterisk. Yes, yes, we see it. We don't like birds. They're always watching, always listening. We don't trust them. We must find a way to get rid of it, precious. Yeah, you got it. Oh, sorry. Sprint sideways. Oh, here we go. Filthy little spy. It will tell the wraiths and squeal on us. I don't know why it sounds like that still. It's like on the you want, should I mess with the audio settings, or do you guys like this, uh, this, like, really kind of fruity gull? You like it? Dirty little spy. Squeeze it. Yes, squeeze the crocs. And then we eat. Oh. Ew. What is this? Netflix column. <laughs> what the fuck? Dad. Ow.
backwards jump. Oh. He's alive. Of course he's alive. Son. Did they breed you in the throat? Her ladyship just gave him a sweet little kiss. Cautious now. Their speed. Orcs mustn't see us. There, see? Right on his neck. Kissed him, eh? Probably forgot him, or he'd be off to her larder. Lady doesn't care too much for our sweet flesh and bones. Isn't that Uthak? It is Uthak. It's a pretty new silk. What's the plan, Uthak? Skip the night shift. Shouldn't we cut him loose, Captain Shagrat? Leave him hanging, you foolish scum! <laughs> No good interfering with her ladyship's affairs. What if the lady's still around? Go a few steps into the cave. When you hear something, you shout and stand your ground. This is like a horrible idea. Gollum, we just yeah, encountered two orcs with what seems like a human held born. captive in a spider's web. What should we do? The third orc? Orcs! Oh. Ugly little foul things. We hate them precious. We should avoid them if we can. But the human in the web, we must help them. We know all about spider webs we do. We'll help cut them down and lead them to safety. We're gonna help the human? Gollum, why do you want to help the human? <laughs> we must be kind to the little hobbits, precious. <laughs> After all, they carry the precious on their journey. No, no. They need our help, and we need theirs. It's a fair trade. Ah, uh, okay. Gollum, I see where the confusion is. Uh, the human in the web is not one of the hobbits, and they do not have the precious. I'm sorry to break it to you. I think it's just like a normal guy. So, you know, I don't think they're really going to be able to help us much. Come on. Oh, just a normal human? Asterisk Gollum looks disappointed, Asterisk. We don't care about them then, Precious. We'll just go find our Precious on our own. Oh, all right. <laughs> we'll just go find it on our own. <laughs> Whatever. And that's how far you ever went into Mordor. We never, never left the clouds. Why is it asking us? There it is. They spy. Two of them. Two little croxes. They says all lands and mountains he might see by him. Not him. Not him. Don't speak to him. Don't listen.
Fucking <laughs> dumbass. Why is he so enraptured by this fucking beetle? I get he's hungry, but he's like, I'll just wait till tomorrow to get food. And now he's like, I gotta eat this beetle. He will know that it's two of them. Follow, but quiet. Stay in the grass and lose them. Oh, okay. Follow, but quiet. Stay in the shadows. What about the bird? Forget birds. I'm telling you, it was that little one. She lost spider friend. I haven't seen it for years. I hope her ladyship had sucked it dry. Yeah, shouldn't report me. It's a waste of trouble. Then they send their blood out, and that's never fun. Gollum, we were trying to catch a bird, but it flew away, so we tried to catch a beetle, but we missed and fell down a cliff. Sorry. Wait, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Oh, up here? Up here. So they never caught you. Here. They're getting away. Then why are there torture marks on your hands? Birds are too quick, precious, and beetles are too small. We understand we've had many such mishaps in our time. Yeah. Falling down cliffs is nothing new to us. We'll just have to be more careful in the future. She could help us. Something's brewing. Even the shriekers are out and flying. Those screams, who makes your skin crawl. He's got smoker voice now. Yes, the spider could help. First, lure them into her webs, and then... War, that's what's brewing. Fox eye up again, tense. <laughs> Sound of Wait, crack baby away. hitting the floor. Whoa. <laughs> Turns back around. I hate this tunnel. The other lantern's out again. Oh, go away. Mustn't lose them. Someone's a slave. You smell her. No. She can't Take this one first. Wants to light fires, does it? The other oak. The other one. He'll see us. We need a stone. The stone? Okay. Major, thank you for the reset. Must get out of the light, dear. That's in the light. Bug. Uh, 
What is this deal? They will find us. What was this entire cutscene? The beetle sauce. Smash it. Smash it. The beetle sauce. friendly. Eat it. Don't let it tell on us. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna ask Gollum. I'm worried the beetle might have seen us, but maybe it's just a bug. Do you think we should go track it down and kill it, or continue on our merry way? Kill it, kill it. It's seen us. It could tell the others where we're going. We must eliminate any possible threat, Precious. And besides, fresh beetle is very tasty. Asterisk Gollum licks his lips, asterisk. Well, there you have it. Kill it, smash it, eat it. But there's no one here, no one around, just a bit longer. Um. Spider. The hell? <laughs> what about the spider? What if she comes back? She's not hungry. She just had orc to eat. The orcs are gone too. The orcs are gone too. It looks tasty though. Aren't we famished, my precious? So nice, so juicy, so tasty. We are famished, yes. Starving, always starving. Crunchable beetle, eat it, eat it. Cool. Get it, get its ass. Bro, come on. How many times do we have to watch him miss a beetle? Okay. Should have smashed Nasty Beetle sooner. Gollum, we tried, bro. We really tried. You just fucked up. Unfortunately, the beetle eluded us, Gollum, and now it looks like we have a ring wraith on our tail. I think we gotta hide inside this cave. We love caves, Precious. They make us feel safe and cozy. But a ring wraith? Oh no, oh no, we must be very careful. They can sense the Precious and they'll stop at nothing to get it. We'll hide deep in the cave and hope it passes us by. Good plan, Gollum. Hey, you know, you're right about that, Gollum. A ring wraith is kind of like you in that it can sense the Precious and will do anything to get it. Except the ring wraith is just a lot stronger and more useful. Do you think that's a fair assessment? <laughs> the wraiths. Mm. 
No, no, don't say that, precious. We're much better than a ring wraith. We're... Gollum trails off, and his eyes dart around nervously. We're sneaky and clever. We can outsmart anyone, even a ring wraith. Gollum's voice cracks with desperation as he tries to convince himself and his companion, Asterisk. Oh, that's so sad. Oh yeah, you're smart, huh? What's two plus two, Gollum? What's three times four? thinking what no no that's not right precious two plus two dot 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 it quote s dot 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 asterisk golem quote s eyes widen and he scratches his head frantically asterisk dot 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 it quote s dot 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 gosh comma it's been so long we don't remember smeagol can you help us here can smeagol help here how about you, Smeagol? Do you know what 2 plus 2 is? <laughs> Why is he sniffing the camera? Don't do that. Of course, of course. 2 plus 2 is 4. Silly. See, we know things too, Precious. We're not just a one-ring obsessed creature, you know. Well, well there you have it. Taste more of them. Is that the... Uh oh. <laughs> he came into the cave. Very slow. You know, you might be right, Gollum. I think you actually might be stronger than the Ring Wraith. They seem to be very slow. Yes, yes, we know we're better than those slow, creepy Ring Wraiths, precious. We don't need their help to find our precious. We're quite capable on our own. are here aren't there only like nine of these things and they they deployed how many of them to hunt golem this music is oppressive all right this is not good literally all around me. Can I hide under this? Tickled him. Look at me. What the hell? Look at me. They brought you to him, didn't they? What was that about? The Dark Lord. What did you tell him? What did you tell Sauron? Nah, 
Hey Gollum, when the Nazgul caught you and brought you to Sauron, what did you tell them about the ring? Nothing, nothing. We said nothing about the precious to anyone. We keep it secret. Keep it safe. Gollum's voice takes on a sing-song quality asterisk. But the precious talks to us. It tells us its secrets. Oh. He sticks to his story. That's good. Did he just quote Gandalf? Yeah. Look, the AI has a, it, a limited resource that it pulls from. Wing Ding Allah, thank you for the seven months. Shut up! Bad news, Gollum. We've been captured by the ring race and are in a jail cell now with what seems to be a cruel orc and a frail man. Which one should we talk to? Orcs are so mean and cruel, precious. They can't be trusted. But the frail man, he might need our help. We could try to be sympathetic and see if we can get any information out of him. But we must be careful. The ring wraiths could be watching. Ooh, good idea. Oh, there's also a sick man. We could talk to him too, but he might not last that long. A sick man? Poor thing, he needs our help the most, precious. We should tend to him and try to ease his suffering. We must show him kindness, for we are not so different from him ourselves. Why is Gollum so nice? <laughs> nice men will help us, yes. I didn't think I'll... I'm the bridge. I thought okay. He won't. He's acting like Spiegel right now, so I'm gonna do this one. Send Pi Blue, thank you for the sub. And consistency, thank you for the reset. I think the sick man is beyond our help, Gollum. Why did you want to help him anyway? Because we know what it's like to suffer, precious. We know what it's like to be alone and in pain. We have to help each other, even in the darkest of times. Amen. So inspiring. Please, 
Smiku doesn't know a thing. We swears. Fin old man must tell them. Be quiet. You will get us all killed. <laughs> Go to sleep. Okay. And chat, if you think he's being too nice, you gotta remember, he's literally programmed to lie. For sympathy and uh, approval, so... Even to us, all right? We're just another mark for him. Shabrak! Shabrak! Shabrak. Reading? What did he mean by this? So was that an item? Can I have this? Oh, it's locked. Beasts. The great eye sees us. Minds. Beasts. Beasts. What does beasts mean, precious? What does it mean? They'll feed us to some beast. But we told him. Smeagol will find it. We swears. Find what? Do we pick beasts or beet breeding? Just keep your head down. Do what the masters tell you. Run! Run till your feet are bloody! What okay. is that thing? Not a dwarf. Not a goblin. Two Not a goblin. Be quiet. Yes, my king. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if you're tired. I don't care if you're sick. As long as you run. Oh, Nimda. See that one? Oh, these new slaves are weaklings. The Morrocks like them. I'm not picking up scattered bones again. Oh, we will have to. They keep all the strong ones higher up now. All claimed by the breeders. The breeders. Gollum, I'm, I'm afraid we might be in some sort of orc prison where they're going to force us to do work for them. I'm just preparing you for the work to come. I don't want to. I don't want to tell him what that work entails. I don't think he's ready to know. What kind of work? I don't know. Orc prison? Oh no, precious. We don't like orcs. They're so nasty and mean. But we'll do whatever we have to do to survive and find our precious. We're very good at working. We are. Asterisk oh, yeah. Gollum flashes a toothy grin. Eager to prove his worth. Nimdar, Slogovisil, Gulsu. Please, we don't understand. This way. Look at his beard. How did he do that? Hey, Grashnik, didn't catch your name. Uh. Gollum, the frail man is asking us what our name is. Do we answer Smeagol or Gollum? This is a big decision. Smeagol, precious. We'd rather be called Smeagol. It's a nicer name than Gollum. It reminds us of Gollum's voice trails off and he looks wistful for a moment. Of better times. Oh. Okay. Smeagol. Smeagol. You're going to die down here, Smeagol. My advice: 
Make your death count. You have to get the Borox back into the pens. As fast as you can. They let you starve if you're slow. Borox? The beasts. If they run at you, find cover. Get to high ground if you can. They don't have the best eyes. Open the pens and lure them in there. Then quickly close the gates. Pens? <sighs> All right. I will help you. Climb the ladder. The gate is not for us. First things first. The slaves chase the cattle. The cattle chases the slaves. You are the bait. If you're careless, you'll get trampled. Lure the animal into the pen, and then quickly shut the gate. Those beasts love to break the levers. That's why there's another one on top. Okay. Now down on the other side. Carefully. That's it. Get his attention and run. All right, Gollum, I think we have to herd Borox. They look like big bulls. And we gotta try to get them into the pens without getting trampled. No, run. Run. Borox! Oh, we don't like the sound of that, Precious. They sound big and mean and dangerous. But we'll do our best to herd them, we will. We're quite good at sneaking around. Maybe we can trick them into going where we want them to. What the hell is going on? Why did he do, why did he do that? <laughs> Poor Hold on. No, it's not. Very well. There is another pen. Back there. But the way is long, and the Boroks are fast. These ones are bulls, so I wouldn't trust the fences to stop them. If they get too close, try getting to higher ground. Guys, I'm sorry for that. Look, I don't know what's going on with the voice. Clearly, it's going through some, some changes. But, uh... Wait, what do you say I have to do? Ooh. Ew. Precious? Beastmaster will tell us. Not so too sad. bad. For your first day. Not too good either. What can we no have done more better? work down below, though. They want me to keep an eye on you. Their newest scheme to humiliate me, I suppose. Next, the mines. Try, try, try! Snag up! Move! We did it, Gollum! We herded all the Borox. Now they're sending us off to the mines. <laughs> you did not respond at all. 
Golem. We did it, Golem. We heard all the Boroks. Now they're sending us off to the mines for some more manual labor. Well done, Precious. We knew we could handle those Boroks. As for the mines, oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> but we've done hard labor before, and we'll do it again if we have to. We won't let them break us no matter what they throw at us. Yeah, that's the attitude. Uh, oh, what's it saying, Precious? Is it asking riddles? Don't listen to her. There's a reason she's in a cage. What reason? She's a witch. Oh, that's the rumor. What? What did you just say? Please, Sneagle doesn't know. Doesn't know the words, does he? No. And what does a good slave do? Huh? A good slave that doesn't know the words? He learns. Maybe you should run, little slave. We want to be done before the third horn, don't we? Huh? Resonox, 10 to 28 months. Please, wait. The frail man must help us. Uh. Huh. What was that? The bridge. Now, oh, come on. They want you to search the tunnels for dead workers. Wait, other golems. Eight didn't report back yesterday. Oh, they're just Find slightly bodies, bigger. Collect their numbers as quick as you can. Numbers? Yes, they're tags. Like the one they gave you, eight. You're on your own now. Eight bodies, eight numbers. It's too hot. Oh, these are the miles. It's too parts. hot. It's too hot. Great news, Gollum. It turns out they don't want us to work in the mines. All we have to do is find the bodies of the dead miners and get their name tags. Who wants to join the brainless maggots down there? Didn't think so. Hey, hey, look. Is that the gun? Find dead miners? Ew, that sounds horrible, precious. But if it means we get to avoid working in the mines, well, we'll do it. We'll do whatever it takes to survive. <laughs> we'll do whatever it takes to survive. Hell yeah. That's the attitude. Ooh, a worm. This one doesn't need a number anymore, does it? That's one, seven left. Not nice work. Oh no, Gollum! These mines are in a volcano. Ah, it's so hot. It burns us, it does. Volcano? Oh no, Precious, that's terrible news. But we'll endure the heat, we will. We have to find the Precious after all. We won't let a little heat stop us. That's true. Good point. Two numbers. How did they die, my Precious? <laughs> too much work, too much heat. How wrinkly they are.
Ask Gollum some riddles. While we're finding all these miners' bodies, Gollum, maybe would you mind telling us a riddle to pass the time? He canonically should be good at this. Oh, a riddle, precious. Of course, of course. Let's see now. What has roots as nobody sees is taller than trees, up, up it goes, and yet never grows. Asterisk Gollum pauses expectantly, waiting for an answer. Is it mountains, precious? No, no, not mountains, silly. Oh. It's a mountain shadow, it is. See, we're quite good at riddles, we are. Mountain shadow? What? That's cheating. I guess you are. I didn't I didn't realize that was the answer. Um, do you have another one? Of course, precious. Here's another one. Voiceless it cries, wingless flutters, toothless bites, mouthless mutters. What is it? Wingless cries, toothless flutters. wind. Is it the wind, Precious? The wind's shadow. Fuck, you're right. Yes, yes, that's it. You're pretty good at riddles too, Precious. Asterisk Gollum looks impressed. That's nice of you. Why are you calling him Precious now? I don't know how to have it. You're rubbing off on me. <laughs> Asterisk looks impressed. How the hell do I get out of here now? Oh. A lot of good things about this game. What's up, Spud? Oh, yeah. This game... It is... What's this pirate ass sound? Here to help us find our what? This soundtrack just turned to like a pirate's theme. <laughs> no! Oh. Did you buy the elf language DLC? I did not. Because I think it's fucking abhorrent that they would make canonical lore a DLC. That was that was a step too far for me. So you're a fake Lord of the Rings fan. Yes, so. There's one. Okay. Hey! What kind of freak is that? Oh, we must rest. Not now, love. Not yet. Gollum, while we're collecting these miners' tags, the orcs are saying that we look like a frog. Does that hurt your feelings? I don't know why I'm telling him this. See? Made it down. down. Hurt our feelings? No, no, not at all. We don't care what the orcs say about us, Precious. We're tough, we are. And we know we don't look like a frog. Maybe we're a little unique. But that just makes us special. Yeah. Water. Please. Water. Uh, Gollum, one of the miners is asking us for water. Should we take his tag and leave him? Or just leave him? <laughs> this is a weird decision. Oh, 
Oh, the poor miner. We'll give him water, we will. We're not heartless, Precious, but we should still take his tag if we can. It's important to keep up the appearance of working, even if we're helping someone. Well, I know that makes sense, Gollum, but we don't actually have any water to give him, so either we just take his tag, which I think means he's going to die, or we leave him, which means he's probably going to die anyway. I know, I, I, I feel bad explaining this to the AI because it doesn't make sense. Oh dear, that's a tough situation, Precious. We... we don't know what to do. We don't want anyone to die, but at the same time, we can't risk our own lives. Maybe we can find some water somewhere? Or maybe we can try to distract the orcs and sneak the miner out. We have to think carefully and be very, very careful. Again, great ideas, Gollum. However, the choice is simply, do we take the tag or do we leave? Asterisk sighs deeply. Asterisk will take the tag, precious. It quote S dot dot dot. It quote S the way things have to be. It's not dot dot dot. It quote S not right, but it's what we have to do to survive. True. Sleep now. Too much work for one day. Don't. That's number six. six two us. more. Two more. Okay. Bye. Great news, Gollum. We found all eight tags. Now we can leave. Wonderful news, Precious. We've done it. We've accomplished our mission. Now let's get out of here as quickly as we can. We don't want to stick around and risk getting caught again. Oh, well. I guess to clarify, Gollum, uh, can't leave, leave. We are still in, in prison. We just finished our, our work for the day. I think we're gonna have to do it again tomorrow. <gasps> What's happening? They're sending the weak up to the tower. Oh no, precious. We have to stay here another day? Well, well, we'll do what we have to do. We've been through worse, we have. We'll just have to be careful and hope for the best. It didn't even fight. They never do. No. Dry. No. Now. Number. To the barajo. You don't die today. Dry. What happens to them in the Tower of Light? They don't come back. That's all I know. Dry. Oh, they get set free, probably. Do they get killed? Cursed. What's the light do to them? They go on. They don't come down. That's all. Uh, 
Hey, you think you're no going. slaves? Does not eat, does not run, does not spin. I will see to it right away. Yes, you will. Yes, I will. She's going to be fine, I promise. The Candleman will be pleased to hear. The witch, Candleman? the witch in the cage. She might know spells to heal animals, like in the old stories. What? And you? Eight, all eight. Ugly and slow. I would milk you for blood, if you had any. Who well, bless him? Milk me? What are these armor designs? This guy's just got one giant fucking shoulder pad and nothing else. What's on his head too? Wait, oh. They're so goofy. Captain Pauldron. Not you. What? Not me. Sorry. Where do I go? Over there? Here we go. Now we're cooking. Gold metal spoon. We could use that. Sorry. What are you doing? <laughs> it's just orcs in empty rooms. Who did this? Come on, who saw it? Anyone? He, he fell. Yes, that's bound to happen with a broken neck. What happened? The little squealer got what he deserved. Have them clean this up. Someone killed him, I swear. They went down in that fight. Take Darlimon's corner, at the window. He doesn't need it anymore. Why do they call it king, this one? Is it a king? Yes, is it? Mm. Here we go. That boring story again. Sephard, the sand flood king, blah, blah, blah. Stupid name for a stupid king. Um. Did he rule beautiful white cities? He barely rules his own bones. He's a useless millstone chained to my foot. Nick. What did you say? Never mind. Who are they talking about? Bird! I've seen people sit there all night, staring out that window. Hatching out plans. Good, clever plans. All dead and gone. What are you looking at? The bridge? The gate? Ah, oh, yes. That beautiful gate. 
It's straight out of Lugborz, they say. There it is, opening to the chime of a bell. A cunning invitation. Huh? Huh? Who lives in the tower? The master <laughs> of the Black Pits. A sorcerer. But the orcs just call him Candleman. Candleman? Maybe they think it's him whose light burns in the tower. Alas, there is only one way into the Tower of Light. The one that our sick friend Darimon took today. He lost his hope long before he lost his life. As most of us do. Before that, however, he tried to find plans for the tower. He was obsessed with it. A great collection of maps, he told me. Stored somewhere in the horrors of Grond. In a building made Grond. of steel. Horrors of Grond. I could show you the way, if you want to see for yourself. Don't listen, maggot. No brains left in that old scrag. He's been down here too long. What is the orc steel? Sees us. The great eye knows. The great minds. minds. Where do I go? You're quite the climber. Water, please. I told you, don't talk to her. Go ahead. You can't hurt me anymore. Gollum, we've come across a witch in a cage. Should we threaten her Urgh. or soothe her? Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I don't think that's going to translate very well with the text to speech. A witch in a cage? Fascinating. We don't know what we should do, Precious. Maybe we should try to talk to her, see what she can offer us. Or, or maybe we should leave her alone. She could be dangerous. We have to be careful. Okay, well, let's try the soothe option. Don't want to hurt it, do we? Perhaps the witch knows spells. Spells to heal animals. Smeagol has heard stories. Animals? What animal? Yes, what is it, Precious? It was hairy and it hisses. Can you get me out of here? It knows spells, yes? I know animals. Tell your master. Tell him I can help. Zana can help. Tell the master, yes, we promise this. <laughs> Not gonna fill her with much confidence. <laughs> that rodent from yesterday, still walking. Here comes the filth. Special honor for you today. Oh? Some of our little crackers didn't go off last night. Some dirt eater needs to crawl down the tunnels and light them up. And among all dirt eaters, don't you two look like kings? <laughs> Stop staring, Sharku. It's gonna come What's down. What's a dirt eater? That's what they call slaves. They deem useless. Come on, this way. Take a light. It's going to be dark. We like Stark. Frail man can keep nasty lights. They used to have dwarves for this kind of work. 
But they're all gone. Now they send in the most starved slaves. Workers already placed the explosives. Lighting them, that's the dirty task. D. At I the think end of the tunnel, months. you'll find a barrel full of flammable liquid. Go down, light it up, then run for your life. What is this? Why? When you smell why? the fumes, you'll know why. Why? <laughs> no marks. These tunnels haven't been cleared. Take some igniters, the red stones. Roll down to the barrels and put the red stone in. Then hurry back. Don't breathe too much. What's the frail man's job? I'll keep watch. <laughs> All right, Gollum. It's day two of uh, prison work. Are you ready? Ready? No, no, we're never ready for this, but we'll do it. We must. We have to survive, precious. Dad, smells like foul makesies. Okay, well, it looks like we have to mark a bunch of tunnels with red rock for explosions to go off. So, I hope you're good at running fast. Marking tunnels? Explosions? Oh no, Precious, that sounds very, very dangerous. But we'll do it! We'll be as quick as we can, and as careful as we can. We're survivors, after all. Yeah, you are. <coughs> that must be the cracker! Did it. Hey. Hey. So, running from something? I'm not really you sure. Can see in the dark, huh? Know a secret? Let's finish these tunnels first. Come this way. There are more of these cursed things. Why do we have to go? Frail man does nothing. You need to learn. I won't always be around to teach you. Okay. Who does the voice for AI Gollum? It's a composite of Gollum voice lines from other games and voice impressions of Gollum. It also is not perfect. It's an algorithm, so. Oh God. Finish the last tunnel, then meet me back upstairs at the cages. Forget about it. 
falling asleep. No, I was. I had to answer a text message. A stingy daddy being sent back again, but to get more food from Lokri. Is he still over it? Lokri, alive and kicking. Probably a super game last night. He knows you can't tell super. This game actually has a good gameplay segment. It just takes five more hours to get there. Really. Honestly, the beginning of the game I didn't think was bad when you're like running away from the ring race, like the tutorial hey, section. Secret? What no. secret, eh? The old man has secret food, perhaps? Yes. What does it eat? Hmm? Cruel orcs eat everything up. Best bit is exactly two hours and five minutes into the game. You guys are just trying to make it so I can't refund it. Speaking of which, how much longer do we have? How it twinkled in the dark, so sweet, so beautiful. We must find it, find it before he does. Then he can crawl in the dark, oh, make nasty lights shine. What's that? I smell incompetence. Aye, but who's the look in that glimmer up? What? What? <laughs> and now he wants bread for crawling through some dirt. Take it then. Nobody shall call Kuznach unjust. Back upstairs with you. Did he make fun of my my golem voice? Where is better here? Frail man can tell us secrets now. Remember the dwarves I mentioned earlier? One of them told me something once. Oh? Those buildings up there above the bridge, see? He had to build them. Whoa. Dangerous work. But after a while, he knew where the guards watched. He'd steal red stones and hide them in a cave near the bridge. Just one stone each day, so the guards wouldn't notice. Why? What Why? do you think? <laughs> what happened? Well, Why? <laughs> one day he slipped and fell. <laughs> That's not a nice story. Mm, I suppose not. Let's all I'm saying. Kick me out of the way. But you gave her water. The stretch it out, he said. The suffering. No water. Not a micro nap. I was responding to a message. Why? This guy looks so ridiculous. He's one handing this giant fucking club. Got giant pauldrons. They look like fucking like Lego people. Hey, little Gollum got bread. Now Gollum owes it to me. <laughs> Bread, or are you deaf? Are you deaf, little Gollum? Uh oh, Gollum, we're getting threatened by a large orc who wants our bread. Should we give him the bread, threaten him back, or beg for mercy? Why y'all saying give head? It says bread. Don't say that. <laughs> Gollum? Is he ignoring me? Sometimes he just doesn't respond. It's really odd. Uh oh, Gollum. We're getting threatened by a large orc who wants our bread. Should we give him the head, threaten him, or beg for mercy? Oh, fuck. Oh no, precious. We have to be careful. Orcs are very dangerous. We don't want any trouble. 
We should give him the bread. Give him whatever he wants. We don't want to anger him. True. But what if we threatened him instead? Maybe you're stronger than you think, Gollum. Threatening him? No, no, that's a bad idea, Precious. We're not strong. We're, we're small and weak. We don't want to risk our lives. Let's just give him the bread and hope he leaves us alone. You could also just beg. You want to beg for mercy instead? I, 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 want, to, I, don't want, to, I want to keep the bread. I'm trying to give him a spine. Beg for mercy? No, no, that's humiliating, Precious. <laughs> we can't lower ourselves like that. We'd what? rather fight or run than beg. But maybe giving him the bread is the smartest choice. He really wants to give him the bread. All right, fuck it. Fine. Fine! <laughs> See? Sharing. Look. The little golem shares. The great eye sees us. The great eye knows. Who's controlling the AI? No, it's an AI. The holes have dropped. Freyman said there was maps. I'm Sefut. But I suppose Freyman is fine. Stay close to me. I can show you. A big hoist with the bell. We call it the Radar. You can hear why. That's your way in. You cannot reach it from here, but there is another way. From down below. Master won't let us work down below. He barks worse than he bites. He only hates leek spittles. Follow me to the sewers. Three minutes to refund. Long live the king! <laughs> Would you guys want me to do more of this? I think it's 13 more minutes anyway, because it was 10 minutes before I got in the game. Come on, girl, move. Camarai Fasul. Shaku, to the sewers! This thing is all yours. Ah, you stink already. Good master, Smeagol has found the healer he has for the animal. Has he now? In a cage in the mines, all famished like us. The witch? Are you mad? That's one of... Unless... Unless. Perhaps, just perhaps, you aren't entirely useless. Hey! Stay away from her, you imbecile! Sorry. Good. I'm going to send you down with the more Macflow. What's more? Ask Gollum if you should refund. The cage is going up to the Tower of Light. You know Gollum, do you think I should refund the Gollum game or keep when playing it? go up there in one of the cages, their screams are choked by fear. They go up choking. Refund the game? No, no, never. Gollum loves the Gollum game. Precious, keep playing, keep playing. Dark water. Wait a minute. You're biased. I programmed you to be deceitful. See the rattler. The hoist with all the bones, remember? The rattler will take you up to the horns of Groth. God damn it. If you ever get there alive. Let me just open this for you. AI shill. Gollum loves the Gollum game.
How about this? I'll make it a monetary thing. I'll, I'll sell out. If you guys can pay for this game in subs before the end of the stream, then I will keep playing it. I'll do another stream of it. Streamer moment. 100%. It's either that or I operate at a loss, you know? Don't do it. Oh my god. What, what does he want me to do here? Oh, hey, go comics. Thank you for the 20 gifted subs. I guess that'll do it, huh? Maybe spoke too soon. Oh, are we supposed to go down? Uh oh. Buy the elf DLC? How many more elves are we gonna encounter in this fucking game? Oh, they're huge. More money. Should I buy the Gollum emote pack so you can emote? Or do you think it's not worth it? Buy the emote pack? Yes, yes, definitely. Precious. Gollum loves to emote. It's a way to express ourselves, it is. <laughs> Fuck. You slimy little deceitful. Oh yeah, if you like emote so much, what's your favorite emote? Favorite emote? Oh, that's a tough one, Precious. Asterisk Gollum scratches his head. Gollum likes the sneaky emote we does. It's like we're hiding in the shadows, waiting for our prey. He likes the sneaky one. That makes sense. That checks out. It's so Gollum. <laughs> he loves to hit the gritty. What about hitting the gritty, Gollum? Do you like doing that, or do you prefer flossing? What if he watches us, the Dark Lord? What if he sees? No, hitting the gritty the golem? Gollum. No, no, Something Gollum doesn't like hitting things, Precious. And we don't know how to floss either. Gollum. We'll stick with our He's sneaky emote, thank you. <laughs> he wants it, wants it. But Smeagol promised to help the Lord. We must do what the Lord says. What he says, yes. Could someone teach but Gollum how to floss, please? Precious. And who has the Precious, eh? Baggins, Baggins. Not here, is it? That nasty tricksy hobbit. How can we protect the precious when it's so far away? 
Candles. You think that means the Candleman's close? <laughs> Guys, I think these candles might be retextured rocks. I think. It's hard to tell. This is cool. Where the hell are we? Are those... Those are helmets! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? They're cone heads. Oh no. I can already tell this is gonna be terrible. One second, I'm just gonna pop just one, more, one more message. I'm not taking a nap. <laughs> I'm just looking down. God. I wish I could power nap like that. Okay. God, he's always so pathetic looking. Alright, Gollum. Enough about flossing and hitting the gritty. I think we've managed to find a way into the tower of the orcs that are putting us in this prison. Let's do some reconnaissance and see if we can find a way out. Reconnaissance? Oh, that sounds exciting, precious. We're very good at scouting and sneaking around. Let's see what we can find out, and let's hope we can find a way out of this place. Scouting, yes. <laughs> what is this fucking helmet this guy's got? Gollum cannot kill orcs wearing a helmet. Fuck. You mean that stupid thing is effective? Gollum, I see an orc ahead, but he's wearing a helmet, which means we cannot kill him. <laughs> You'd be like, why? An orc with a helmet? Oh no, precious. That means he's well protected. We can't fight him head on, that's for sure. We'll have to be careful and try to sneak around him. It's getting more effeminate as it goes on. Wait, great news, Gollum. Up ahead, I found an orc without a helmet. Maybe we can take this one. An orc without a helmet? Hmm. Maybe we can take him, Precious. But we have to be very careful and make sure we don't attract any attention. Let's see what we can do. Oh, don't you like it? Gollum, I'm sorry. You've been discovered and beaten over the head. He's shocked. Discovered? Beaten? Oh no, Precious, that's not good at all. We have to be more careful, more sneaky. We can't afford to let our guard down like that again. You're right. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. 
<laughs> just bonks him on the soft spot and he's out cold. No audio reaction from him. This is just sticks, you're right. This game is sticks again. Just play a little game. Gollum, we've done it. We've snuck up behind the orc and throttled him to death. We are now murderers. Throttled an orc to death? Oh my precious. We knew it would come to this, but it doesn't make it any easier. We've... We've done something terrible. But we had to do it. We had no choice. We'll have to live with this for the rest of our lives. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, you murdered your cousin. Yeah, it's almost as bad as the time you murdered your cousin on your birthday to get the ring, remember? Smeagol? <laughs> he didn't ignore me. Is he gonna ignore that? Did he ignore me? What the hell? Yeah, you're right. Almost as bad as the time you th strangled your cousin to death on your birthday to get the ring. You remember that, Smeagol? Strangled our cousin. No, no, we don't remember that precious. We don't remember much from the past. It's too painful. Please don't bring up such memories. Okay, sorry. Any news on the Black Legion? Marching to Dark Gold Door soon. That's what I'll put on these hats, says. then I would be oh, vulnerable. Nonsense. The Tarks is still prowling on our doorstep. <laughs> Not for long. The eye is upon them. Is this guy really just turning around back and forth? God, he looks so dumb. <laughs> Catch me. Just making fucking noise. <laughs> it's just rattling a cage. Alright, Gollum, we're gonna need to get past this orc. 
that's guarding the area. Maybe we can throw a rock at his helmet, or rattle a nearby cage to distract him. What do you think? Get past an orc? Hmm. Throwing a rock or rattling a cage sounds like a good way to distract him, Precious. But we have to be careful. If it doesn't work, we'll be in trouble. Let's wait and see what the best option is. Oh, all right. We'll wait and see. <laughs> uh, let's try this one. Just punted him. Bro! What is rattling the <laughs> What is that for? Maybe I'll make them hate each other. <laughs> Make a rattling sound. <laughs> Wait, now what? Why do you even want to come over here? They seem climbable. It's behind the crossbow guy. Oh, of course it is. Alright, check this out. He just caught me with force powers and <laughs> like a snake. What the hell was that? Tolkien actually described the orcs as partial snakes. The venom of a snake was used in the creation of the first orcs. And I just made this up. Really cool, Joe. Mm. 
Joe lies as easy as he breathes, just like Gollum, dude. Gollum, would you mind if I start calling you Joe? Calling us Joe? No, no, that's no good, Precious. We are Gollum, master of the caves, the king of riddles, the lord of the precious. No one can call us by any other name. Okay, all right, note to self. Do not call Gollum Joe. <laughs> king of riddles. Oh, that's not good. Let's have a little talk. What, that? No, that. What is the rattler? Okay. It was not apparent. Whatever you say, Joe. <laughs> He's good. No, no! <laughs> not how. thing. He's getting very selective about it, what he responds to nowadays. That's some beautiful art. Some sky blue paintings. Who was, do the orcs do the, the wall, like the cave, like the art? Or do they have like slaves are able to do that? This guy's invented a flashlight. Sky. Hello. Don't mind Keep me. Still now. Steady now. Great news, Gollum. We found our way onto the elevator. And maybe now we'll have a better perspective of where our captive. Landis. It's a wolf. Oh, is that Grand? Oh, fuck. They built giant monsters for the war. But where do we find them? An elevator? Oh, that's good, Precious. We'll have to keep our eyes open and our wits about us. We'll be able to scout the area and hopefully find a way out. But we have to be very careful, very sneaky, or we'll be caught again. No way to cross. Needs to take the long way round. <laughs> Grant's looking beautiful today. What a pity we'll have to give them away when the war comes. Hey, Gollum, I think they're building Grand here. Do you know what Grand Down is? Here. Jump. <laughs> Oh. 
Yes. Building Jump. Grand here? Oh yes, precious, we know what Grand is. It's a powerful weapon, a battering ram used to break down doors and walls. They must be planning an attack. We have to be very careful. Nice. No way to cross. Needs to take the long way round. Grand's looking beautiful today. have a helmet. It's throttling time. What? Ha! <laughs> he won! He flexed me off with his neck. This would kill you. Gollum, this would kill you. This is the most hot metal imaginable. Pacifist playthrough? I literally just throttled an orc. You also can't throttle them if they have the stupid cone heads on. What is this hat? Careful with that. They're still hot. Use the shovel. You should save. I don't think you can save. I think it's all checkpoints. Oh. <laughs> What's that stench? That's your new runes. Lord, complain, little one. What's the new runes? Where am I going right now? I'm trying to go up there? back the way we came. Right? Oh, that's why. Okay. At least we got our own place now. Won't be easy to keep. Do your part to keep it then. Think I can make this jump? 
Gollum, do you think you, I can make this jump? Make that jump? Oh my precious, it looks very far down. We think it's better if you don't risk it. We don't want you to get hurt, or worse. Oh, I guess to clarify, I meant, do you think you could make that jump? I'm not going to be doing it. But I know you're a good jumper, so you can do it, right? Or worse, expelled. Gollum can try to make that jump, Precious, but we have to be careful. We don't want to fall and hurt ourselves, but if it means getting closer to our Precious, we'll do whatever it takes. Hear you loud and clear. Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> I, I really thought he was gonna die. Raiden Bond's name for 31 months. Now what? There? Great news, Gollum. You made the jump. You spry little fella. You agile little gremlin. I knew you could do it. I'm very proud of you. Uh oh, backwards jump is still on the screen. I think that's a problem. I don't think that's supposed to be there. We made the jump? Oh, that's wonderful news, precious. Gollum is very proud of ourselves. We did it. We're sneaky. We're agile. We're, we're the best. We're the best. Are you dead? Like self respecting Smeagol. Aw, oh, come on, why? Uh oh. <laughs> What's with this music? Yeah, the music's like really uh, inspirational. How do, you, how do you get him to jump up? turn. What? They sent me the theme for this game on vinyl. Wait, Joe, you're trying to get me to play this game when they sent you this game and the theme of the game? You got like a press copy? It's working for them, dude. Someone offered to buy it off me in DMs. did it come with? Where am I going? Why did you? He was like, over here. I got this. How far back are we? Okay. At least the checkpoints aren't that bad. Can't remember what else. Oh, how convenient. That is a bag full of worms. 
You didn't even share. What's that? That that moving that moving wood thing. Joe did answer. Likely story. Yeah, wouldn't he know what this is? Like, when he was Smeagol, he was in the Shire, or whatever. You know, river folk, or whatever. And they had, like, water mills and stuff. This is a new technology. We just forgo art. He legit had a fishing rod with a little wheel on it. <laughs> yeah. He literally had his own. To be honest, what is that wheel even doing? Yeah, it's not turning anything, is it? Oh, fuck me. Drop in like a pose. <laughs> Wait, it just said saved. Oh no. Why did it save over here? looking oh, okay okay we can go back Gollum, I seem to have found this wooden round structure that's rotating on these spokes. Do you know what that might be? Let's see if AI Gollum knows what a wheel is. A wooden round structure rotating on spokes? Oh, that's a water wheel, precious. It's used to grind up grain or move machinery or sometimes just for decoration. But we have to be careful. There could be danger nearby. Why? Why do you think there might be danger with a water wheel nearby? Danger with a water wheel nearby? Oh, there might not actually be any danger, Precious. Oh, okay. We tend to be very suspicious and cautious. Sometimes it's better to be safe than sorry. But we should still keep an eye out just to be sure. All right. How am I supposed to get up here? This seems that wants me to run. You know, I was trying running and jumping and it wasn't working. I just had to not jump. That's what I had to do. What is this? Louse. That's Gollum about his head game? That's okay, Gollum. By the way, how's your head game doing? You feeling all right? Oh, and by that I meant like your uh, mental state. I don't know why I read chat's comment and assumed a normal thing when it was clearly not a normal thing. <laughs> Fuck! I, I, luckily I clarified it. Stop Gollum, not now. Our head game, our mental state you mean? 
Oh, yes. we're doing just fine, precious. Okay. We're always sharp, always alert, always Woo. watching. That was we a have bullet to there. Be in order to survive. <laughs> God, that was close. I'm not. I'm not hip with all the lingo, guys. Now I ask him about blowjobs. Big skull. Jeez. Oh my god, he went flying. Is this what moves the wood thing? Yes, the wood thing could help us. How do we get down now? Down here. This game feels like too depressing. <laughs> it's depressing. The vibes are bad. <laughs> I actually know exactly what you mean. It does feel that way. Places. These bullets through the night. Call me when they're steep. Only the bosses know. Huh? Oh. I got him told you to refund the game, would you have? Yes. Hey Gollum, what's your favorite fish? Look down. No, please. Oh no. Look down. Oh, 
our favorite fish. Oh, that's an easy one, Precious. We love all the fish. We love eating them raw and wiggling. Er, uh, we mean freshly caught and ready to be eaten. Yes, we love fish. <laughs> why did he, why did he translate it? <laughs> he has a megaphone. He's enthusiastic. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Why did this orc tell this man to look down if he's not going to kick him off? Also, am I trying to go down? No, I'm trying to go up. I'm trying to go up there? What the hell am I doing? bird. Thank you for the gift. up? And that's done. What's done? We're nowhere near done. This is long as hell, this entire segment. <laughs> would have been real different if Deagle just wore a helmet. Who's Deagle? Was that the first work in this game? That dead guy I think we keep it up. His cousin. Oh. <laughs> His cousin in the fishing boat? Yeah. We can make this jump. Hey, Smeagol, do you know who Deagle is? Okay, I wasn't listening to what Gollum said. Deagle? Hmm. No, Precious, we don't know any Deagle. Who is Deagle? Should we be worried about them? Why is he so different? No, don't worry. Deagle's dead. In fact, he was your cousin, and you killed him on your birthday for the Precious. Do you remember now? Do you remember now, Gollum? Do you remember now what set you on this dark path? <laughs> Killed our cousin on our birthday? No, no, that can't be right, Precious. We don't want to remember such things. We, we just need to focus on getting our precious back. That's all that matters now. Yeah. They took my little brother yesterday. True. He fell off the ladder. They picked him up, sent him up to the tower. I'm sorry. Now I have to do his shift too. <sighs> Almost there. Now, where do they keep Napsies? The guards. Wrong. Oh, my God, Gollum. It said drop, and he's like, okay. It just drops forward instead of backwards. I was about to do a charboard on him. Who's doing the Shibari walls? I don't know, dude. They took my little brother yesterday. <laughs> yeah, these are, I think the orcs are just really artistic. They picked him up, sent him up to the tower. 
I'm sorry. <sighs> Almost there. Now, now where do shit. they keep mapses? <gasps> Regards. Spoon. Okay. Um. How do I get the bread? I can't take it. I already have a worm in my pocket. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Stairs that wall. Good guard work. What are you gonna do? I bet they didn't program you to climb. in the wind. Great news, Gollum. We infiltrated the orc tower and climbed a ladder. None of them know how to climb, so I think we're safe. Infiltrated the orc tower, climbed a ladder, Oh yes, Precious, that's excellent news. We were careful and sneaky, and now we've outsmarted those foolish orcs. Let's keep moving. We're one step closer to our Precious. Intruder! Yes, you can stare. Oops. Whose voice is this? This is what an AI algorithm's thinks Gollum's voices when given about like 30 minutes of audio of different Gollum uh, sounds.
Yeah. Oh okay. shit. We made it. This? No, not the tower. What is that? That's the front? No? Just the arm. You asked Meagle how it felt to kill his old hobbit friend over the ring? I literally I already asked him that and he just says he doesn't remember it, doesn't want to remember. Tower it. At all. All right, Gollum, we made it into the architect's room in the tower. We're gonna try to find the schematics for this jail, so maybe we can see a secret way out. Capiche? Fuck, why did I say that? I'm not gonna know what the hell capiche means. Made it into the architect's room? Perfect, precious. We'll have to be very careful, but finding the schematics could be just what we need. We have to escape this place. We have to be free. We'll find a way out. We always do. We always do. Check this out. <laughs> no. It hurts. Where is it? This? No, not the tower. This one. This one looks like the tower. Nasty tower of light. Ah, yeah. Time to go back. Orcs will miss us. Don't want to go up the silent stairs, do we? And How are we gonna do that? Back. What is an elevator? I don't think we can just take an elevator unsupervised. Push. See, if they weren't wearing those stupid helmets, they would have seen me. Hey, who's there? Yeah. Stop the wagon. <laughs> Too late, little oxes. Too late. Ah. Too late. I'm going back to my duties as a slave. Waiting for us. What's this? A snag of worm wants to dig himself a little hole. <laughs> Person noise. Not such a good plan now, is it? Yeah, it really wasn't. He just keeps getting recaptured. This one tried to skip work. Ah, Crane was tampered with too. Snar is looking into it. Oh, look at Cut us. him open. No, wasn't us. Look at us. We're famished. Down to the lakes with him. See how he likes deserting them. <laughs> lakes? Yes, our fiery lakes. A bunch of slaves didn't report back yesterday. I will call uh, missing numbers by the time they sound the horn. No, please. No lakes. No fire. You gotta Look do this minigame again. Got. Gollum, bad news. They caught us. And now we're back in the mines, recovering the numbers off of the dead miners in the fiery lakes under Mordor. So, you know. Sorry. Oh, 
Oh no, Precious, they caught us again. This is not good, not good at all. But we'll make it through. We're tough, we're resilient, we're... Oh, but it's so hot down here in the fiery lakes. Just breathe, Gollum, breathe. That's your way out. Good RP, good RP. How hot is it down here? Can you describe what it feels like? How hot is it down here? Oh, it's like being inside a dragon's mouth. Precious. It's so hot, so dry, so unbearable. We feel like we're melting, but we have to keep going. We have to keep searching. That's the last one, yes? Could be. Could be more. That sounds horrible. That sounds like it's so hard. I think... Oh no, it's getting even hotter. Oh no, it's getting so much hotter. <laughs> it's getting hotter. Oh no, Precious, this is not good, not good at all. We have to find a way out of here or we'll be burnt to a crisp. Keep your wits about you, Gollum. Keep your head on straight. Don't panic, we'll get through this. like a scabbed lizard and I've seen him climb like one and small as a child he will never make it to the bridge listen the orcs want you dead they want all of us dead I let's get here. end this shall we no more heat no more ashes what say you oh My king we have to move what say you no more heat no more ashes he cannot make that climb this is madness orcs this is madness king, we cannot linger this is my You remember the red stones, yes? Here's all I need you to do. Climb up to that creaking bridge. My king! Fight, or keep eating dirt. It's your choice. But we are going. Creaking bridge! Just listen, just climb up. Some of the guys related to our Aragon? As you can. Do you think that's the lore? There's a storage room it's with one many of the Do you think he's one of the Dune Dane? should have a black <laughs> mark. Up to the creaking bridge. He's nothing but skin and bones. He can't do it. He can. can't do it. You can do this. You know the drill. Take a stone, put it in the barrel, run. Get up. Let's show those vermin who I am. Take the redstones. Who's up there? Redstones. Go now. Kaivad will wait on the other side of the bridge. As soon as you light your barrel, he will light his. Kaivad? Who is... Go. There is no time. All right, Smeagol. I've had enough of this prisonment. We're breaking out of here. Let's grab those explosive red stones and start a revolt. Happy. No. Breaking out of here, starting a revolt. Oh, we don't know if that's such a good idea, Precious. Oh. We could get hurt, or worse, but the explosive redstones... Yes, yes, we could use those to our advantage. We could create a distraction and slip away unnoticed. Good thinking, precious, good thinking. Now what? Good. What are we doing? He cut himself off. Well, it's up to you, Gollum. Do you want to sit in the lava lakes where it's so hot, unbearably hot all the time? Or do you want to try to escape? and find the precious once again. Doing frail man's bidding, that's what. Sitting in the lava lakes? We definitely don't want to do that, precious. No, we have to get out of here. We have to be free. 
We'll use those explosive red stones to create a diversion, and then we'll make our move. Dead. The precious That's is out there, waiting for us. We won't give up until we find Smeagol it. Tried, but he can't reap ashes and drink from nasty fire lakes. We could tell the Oxes and get nice reward for frail man's head. But the Orcs want us dead. <laughs> we have done them nothing, and they kick us, beat us like dogs. We has done them nothing. Slap us, spit at us. Show the vermin precious. Show. Make them squeak. Egg. Make them squeal. Just wanted to traumatize that specific guy. Make them squeal. I'm gonna go from here. There. So I need to get to that. I gotta maybe go this way. Go down first to go up. This feels wrong. Can <laughs> you please take the game seriously? Yeah, this is this was Tolkien's vision. I need to be more respectful, you're right. Sentence. Make that bad. So we tie him to the wall, he heels up and down, and then I put that sorry excuse of an helmet upon his skull. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. But backwards, so he can't see. That stupid helmet of his. With the silly nose guard, yeah. So I put that on him. And you should not be talking. And then I set a torch to it till the iron glows all red. <laughs> what do you say? Just breathe. Take it off. <sighs> no. You stop. Chill, fucking monkey. <laughs> <What's this? laughs> We're trying to be quiet right now. Black mark. Now in goes the red stone. Oh, <gasps> Wait now. Run. What's that? Who's that? Go. Run. All right, Gollum, we've the put the red, red stone, stone in the explosive barrel. The distraction is ready. It's time to run. <laughs> 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 
red stone in the explosive barrel? Excellent work, Precious. Now, it's time to make our move. We'll run as fast as we can and use the distraction to slip away unnoticed. Yeah, we won't yeah. stop until we're free, until yeah. we're reunited with our Precious. Yeah. Let's go! Now Let's go! The red stone. Where, what is the correct way out? Oh, this way. Right of us. Jump. There was nothing there for me to jump to. It's a little baby cradle. Long face. Thank you for the months. When are you seeing your next Dungeon AI stream? Um, I don't know. I have to talk with Charboard about that. We've been doing a lot of other stuff, as you can see, but it'd be fun to revisit again. This morning. Is that what your silence is supposed to tell me? Not one of you has seen anything. They all got caught? Heard anything. Done anything. What was the plan then? No one. Except for this one. No. Not us. Yes. You. Hey, Gollum, bad news. Uh, during the escape, it seems something went wrong and they caught us again, again. And now we have to convince them not to kill us. Any idea of what we can say? precious. It's not just... Stop mumbling. Who led this conspiracy? Come on, Gollum. Caught again. Oh no, Precious, this is not good. We'll have to be very clever with our words, very persuasive. We can tell them we'll help them find their enemies, or we can use our sneaky skills to steal something valuable for them. We must convince them we're worth keeping alive. Good plan, Gollum. To begin with, should we blame the frail man who led the revolution and tried to help us escape? Or do we blame that nasty, cruel orc that stole our breadses earlier? Blame someone else? Oh yes, Precious, that's a very good idea. Let's blame the frail man for leading the revolution and trying to help us escape. We'll say he was the mastermind behind it all, and that we were just following his lead. Or, we could blame the nasty, cruel orc for stealing our bread earlier. Let's use whatever we can to stay alive. Well, you said... Yeah, but which one should we do, Gollum? Either blame the frail man or the cruel orc. We have to decide. Blaming the frail man or the cruel orc. Oh, we don't know, Precious. It's so hard to decide. Let's blame them both. We'll say they were both in on it together, and it wasn't our fault. Yes, that's it. That's what we'll do. <laughs> no. No, that's not what... No, Gollum. That's not what we're going to do, because we have to pick either the frail man or the cruel orc. Just... All you have to do is say one or two. Doesn't matter which one. Just pick one or two. Please. <laughs> Fucking AI cannot make a decision for their life. Oh, sorry, Precious. We picked the frail man. We'll blame him for everything. Oh, all right. Easy. Sorry. Not just 
Not just us. No, not alone. That's right. Who else? Two detonations. Two. One on either side. We had eyes on your side. Who was on the other? They will spot a lie. He will know! His terrible light sees right through us! Very true. The light, the needles, the pincers. We have many ways to find the truth. No! No more needles! Did you say a name? Speak louder. Smeagol is not a squealer. Squealers survive. True. But squealers survive. Or they lie on the floor with a broken neck. You're scared. Oh. A scared little thing. Someone used you. Someone deceived you. All I want is one name. One name, and you're free. The frail man always helps us. Used us. Let's us eat dirt for him. That's all he ever did. The frail man always helps us. Uh -oh. I can't hear you. Speak up. He's weak. Old scrag with foul tooths. Good for nothing but dying. He's a king. A true king. A king without a crown. What good does he do us? The frail man. It forced us. It was him. That was easy. Frail man? Which one of them? This one. Him? He barely walks without a cane. And I ruined your minds without a cane. Now be quiet, little girl. I want to die in silence. Yes, well, you've said your piece. Open the cage. He goes up with the other ones. We gave her a name. She promised. Your friend wants to die in silence. So be silent. All clear. Moving on. White heart. That one's on the list. What? 10, 18, 18, 20. That one's on the list. What? Are you certain? This one looks like waste. List says it's not. What list? The one that says not to be touched, like squealers and things the eye wants for himself. Get up then. That's yourself. We can oh. go now. Thanks. On. I'm not going to wait for you. My frail man. Of that list. The rest move on. Die. <laughs> Long live the king. Long live the king. Hi. They spares us. See, my dear. It's all good. It's all good. Long live, Long live the, king. the king. Silence. Silence. Hear them. We made it count. All right, Gollum, we sold out uh, the frail man who turned out to be a king that was leading the revolution. So now there's no more hope for the slaves and we can get back to work in the mines. <laughs> I let him live. Sold out the frail man, a king leading a revolution. Oh no, precious, that's not good. But maybe we can still find a way to be free, to find our precious. Yes, let's get back to work in the mines, but let's keep our eyes open for any opportunity to escape, any chance to be reunited with the precious. He's back. How did he get there before me? Are we gonna sleep next to him? Um. Give it back! Look at that! Give it back! That must be where we make the Mormac. Right there under the execution chamber. But they won't even let you in there. Hmm. Give it back! Did you really destroy that brick? 
Cage. Um. Yes. We did, yes. Make it fall down on many, many little oxes. How they shrieked before they died, didn't they, precious? All dead. Now Nysor can leave us and go sleep. Keep that useless map. Oh. <laughs> he was like, fuck, all right. <laughs> it just cuts immediately. I thought there was going to be more than that. The great eye sees us. The great eye sees us. The great eye knows us. The great eye, the great knows, eye knows us. Your father, we will double our efforts. Long story short, you need to triple your efforts. Triple? Whoever finishes first gets his bread. Everyone else, well, none of you will be eager to meet the candle man. Shall we then? <laughs> it looks so Reading. pathetic. Reading! Reading! My father has many qualities, but forbearance is not among them. I thought some forbearance was earned after I healed that spider of his. He was pleased about that, and he would like to know how you did it. Knowledge of the beast, that is all. Say please. No, you don't. Get in the cart. His name is Breeder. Okay, Gollum. Our next task for today seems to be breeding. Uh, do you know anything about that? Breeding. Oh, precious. We don't know anything about that. But we'll do whatever we have to do to survive, to stay alive. We'll do our best and hope for the best. Lord's army is growing nice. There you go. The orc is on the rise. And when the Lord is returned to the great song. power, nothing will stop us. Oh, a blonde now. Cool. Follow me. Everyone else, you know what to do. Only one today. Spare me your number. I'll just call you ugly. What? Come. Mean. Keep your mouth shut, ugly. Don't want to spoil the Mormac with your spittle. See them down there in the troughs? Yeah, those are our little ones. What? Don't fall in. Just... Yeah, don't fall in. And here are a what did I just tell you? Well, now you know why I warned you. Wait, why? And here are our feeders. Oh, ow. Pull that lever. The fuck are they? What are those things? The lever. Pull it. Those are orc babies? Simple enough. Now, do that with every feeder you can find. And be quick about it. When you're done, you ride back up and report to the Beastmaster. Kalusha. Oh, if God, I were look you, at him. I'd be running. Oh. Come on. 
It looks like we have to breed baby orcs, Gollum. Feed them nasty meat so they grow big and strong. Oh, the humanity. What a horrible fate has befallen us. Hopefully we can find a way out. <laughs> I don't know why I keep talking when I talk to these things. Oh shit. Breeding baby orcs, feeding them nasty meat. Oh, precious, this is terrible, terrible news. But we must find a way to get through this, to survive and be free. Maybe we can use our connection with the orcs to our advantage. Maybe we can manipulate them into helping us escape. We'll think of something we always do. That's a great idea, Gollum. How are we gonna manipulate the orcs to help us escape? Do you have any ideas? Let's see what he comes up with. Manipulating the orcs? Yes, maybe we can use their greed to our advantage. Promise them the precious if they help us escape. Or we can pretend to have knowledge about something they want and use that as leverage to convince them to aid us. We must be clever and cunning, precious, if we want to be free. Okay, let's practice this scenario, Gollum. Pretend I'm an orc and you're going to offer me the precious for your life. Ready? Go. <laughs> You want the precious? Good smart orc. Gollum has the precious. Gollum will give you the precious if you let Gollum go free. Deal, yes? Deal, yes? <laughs> ah, very good little Gollum. I will let you go free only once you provide the precious. Precious is very close. Precious is. Gollum will show you where the Precious is hidden, but only if you release Gollum now. No harm to Gollum, no harm to the Precious deal. And what's that weapon of great power we want? Mm. Only deal if you give me Gollum's finger. You give me finger, I let you go to get Precious. If we had it, nasty orcs couldn't see us. No one could. We could hide forever. To left. <laughs> I don't know if he knows what to do to that. Them vanish my precious. Gollum's finger. No, no, precious. That is too much. Gollum needs his finger. Precious needs his finger. Gollum can show you other way to prove loyalty. Find you other treasure, better treasure. Let Gollum go, and Gollum will help you get it. Oh yeah, like what? If you don't have the precious now, what do you have? Oh. <laughs> Quick now. The guitar is yelling at me. THX sound. Ah, smart orc, very smart. Gollum has other treasures, many treasures. Gollum knows where to find shiny gems and golden coins. Gollum can bring them for you if you let Gollum go free. Deal, yes? What's the <laughs> <laughs> uh, Very well, deal. The orc extends his hand to shake Gollum's. Yes, deal. Shake hands, start new friendship. Gollum will show you where the treasures are. Let Gollum go and great fortune will be yours. Shake hands, precious. Oh. Where the fuck do I get out? Ow. <laughs> As the orc grasps Gollum's hand, he squeezes super tight and it hurts a lot. And when he finally lets go, Gollum's missing a finger. <laughs> the candle man, Gondor Maggot. Why is he 
Oh no, it's Precious, the orc is tricky, very tricky. He took Gollum's finger, Precious. We have to get free, find the Precious, and make him pay. Next time, Gollum will be even more close. Ugh, third time. We're too slow, my Precious. Pilots, no stamina. That is why the orc is on the rise. Look at this guy's no gamer posture. You. Don't worry, there's always another day. Until there isn't. Back to yourself. Failed the timer? Does that matter? No. <laughs> Very good scene, Gollum. I'm done pretending to be the orc. What did you learn from this little experiment? Their cells. Back to your cells, you vermin! <laughs> Thank you, Precious. Gollum learned that it's important to always be careful, especially when dealing with orcs. We must use our wits and our cunning to survive, to be free, to be reunited with our Precious. Mark, they're always traitors. What do they draw it on? Where's my big orc friend? Hey, buddy. <clears throat> You're like a fly, always buzzing around. Are you a fly? <laughs> Are yeah. you a fly? Yeah, yeah I'm a fly. Smeagol makes it a breeder. Smeagol earns bread. Smeagol does anything, anything. Anything but shut up. Into How is that tower, breeding? Into the sewers, to the carts, hide in a crate, and off we goes. Tower, sewer, carts, and off through the gate. The tunnel leads out of the tower, yes? Yeah, good luck. Say you get to the carts, then what? We check every crate. We will find you. A cart driver. That's what you want. Someone really dumb who's in on your dumb plan. Is he a cart driver? <laughs> no. And you can die without my help. Why From the execution chamber into the sewers. But how do we get there? What's this bird mean? Some birdhouse that leads to the chamber. What's he like? The sorcerer in the tower? Like someone who rips your heart out with his iron claw. But first he will ask you some riddle. And if you don't know the answer, too bad. Maybe the tower isn't the only way out. You maggot brain. There is no way out. Oh, okay. This is long. Weeks? <laughs> Not counting the ones that died. That makes ten more than last time. Did you say ten? Look at them. They are cripples, skags. What did you expect? I am looking at this one in particular. The little one? What about him? My father wonders what's inside this unshapely head, and now I wonder Ew. too. Do. Take him to the tower. God, I won't miss him. Balrat, take that slave upstairs. You heard her. Come on, this way. Okay. Uh oh, Gollum. It looks like they're taking us to the tower. The tower of the Candleman. Do you know who that is? Get in. The Tower of the Candleman? Oh no, Precious, that's very bad. The Candleman is a powerful sorcerer, someone we don't want to cross. Oh, but maybe shit. we can use our skills to our advantage. Maybe we can convince him to help us. 
or we can use our sneaky ways to escape. We have to keep our options open, be ready for anything. Marvelous. You're sweating. The Master's just meeting with the Mouth. Mouth? Oh, Sauron. The Lieutenant of the Tower. Following that, the Master's mood can be a little special. You'll see. What's that in the middle? It's called none of your business. Right here. Don't move. Don't touch anything. Barrett! The pincers! Wait until you hear the gong, then go upstairs and do what you're told. Barrett! Yes! I'm not waiting. <laughs> Closed. Maybe there's another way in. What does it want from us, this sorcerer? Ask riddle questions, perhaps. Rip our hearts out with his claws. But we know those riddles too, don't we, my precious? Oh. Quick, maybe a, a riddle will trick the Candleman. Do you have another riddle for us, Gollum? Here we go. A riddle? Yes, precious, that's a good idea. Gollum knows many riddles. Maybe one will be tricky enough to outsmart the Candleman. Here's one. It cannot be seen, cannot be felt, cannot be heard, cannot be smelt. It lies behind stars and under hills, and empty holes it fills. It comes first and follows after, ends life, kills laughter. What is it? What is it? Is this a baby's cradle? Is it you, Gollum? <laughs> there is the gate. So close. Well, no, no, precious. It's not me. Good guess, though. The answer is darkness. How can we ring it when we're hiding in a crate? What did he say? Darkness? Damn it. Rejoice, dear friend. I'm just paying compliments. You don't frighten me. Ah. I want to frighten thee. I only ever wished there to be friendship between us. You are not my friend. In that case, you should be frightened. Should I? Then I say we stop talking. Read. Hello. What are you doing here? The Candleman wants to see us. You should have waited outside. What's it looking at? Lots of books and lots of scrolls. The Candleman wants me to find out more about his spiders, which is a lot better than starving in a cage. I must thank you. The Beastmaster was very angry with you when the guards took me. Smeagol always helps. Hopefully, I can return the favor someday. Maybe the oh. woman can drive a cart. You're not planning anything rash, are you? Because we know how that usually ends. <laughs> Head on a spike. I don't drive carts. We must wait for the right moment. At least, that's what I plan to do. So far, the Candleman hasn't treated me too badly. So for now, I will keep reading his scrolls. Okay. Bird. What is this? Your handwriting. Uh, that's what they hurt her hands with. Tones I found this quite illuminating. 
Who gave you this? Read it. I know what it says. I never forget my own words. Does our lord? Art thou trying to threaten me? I only ever wish there to be friendship between us. Consider the matter dealt with. They're just talking Which in circles. Matter? The bridge in the mines. <laughs> and don't ever talk about my family again. Have a good night, Lieutenant. It already um. is. What an unexpectedly diverting conversation. I must visit thee more often. Down here in the pits. They're leaving. Come closer. Have many questions. <laughs> Our Lord hates questions. <laughs> Why did he do that? He got no questions. help on. Call him good at thinking. Three it. ways to silence them fear, one way. Two, a knife. Cut out a tongue. Very effective. It wasn't us. Why is your number on the list? You're not strong. You're not wise. Clearly, you're not wise. See, that raises questions. Was the great eye mistaken? Certainly not. So why? You weren't the only one behind that act of sabotage. And it certainly wasn't that frail king who had to die for it. At least, not him alone. What's a third way to silence a question? Hmm? Answer it. Well, giving an answer. <gasps> Yay! Kick, knife. Answer. Which one do you think we should apply? <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> the Candleman asked us a riddle, Gollum. He said, which way is the best way Resolve a question. Is it number one with an answer? Number two with fear? Or number three with a knife? The Candleman's riddle? Oh, precious, it's a tricky one. But Gollum thinks the answer is number one with an answer. Always best to have the answer to know what you're dealing with. Okay. So that's right. He, he did it. I think you're probably right, but should I say knife just because it's funny? No, no, precious. Don't say knife just because it's funny. We don't want to make the candleman angry. Let's stick to the correct answer, number one, and hope that it's what he's looking for. I'm going to pick knife. knife. The knife, yes. Sending a clear message. But that bridge buried good men. No. Heads must roll. Not your head. That much has been established. Your number is on the list. And if it cannot be yours, then whose head shall it be? He wants us to give him names, or it's a test.
Gollum, he wants us to give him names of people involved in the rebellion. Should we blame that one orc that stuck, stole our bread? Or do we tell him the truth? Although, is mine orc cruel orc? I, they're all the same. I don't... It's hard to tell. Blame some. Blame the orc? No, no, precious. We don't want to make more enemies than we already have. But we also don't want to betray our own kind. Maybe we can give him names of those who are already dead, or those who have left the rebellion. We have to be very careful, very sly, if we want to survive this. I think he's right. We should tell him the truth. A trick to send Smeagol into the light. Tell him the truth. Masters won't send us to the tower again. Smeagol is on the list. Could rip Smeagol's heart out? Perhaps, yes. But he could hurt our hands. We saw his pincers, didn't we? Knives, scissors. So many ways to make poor Smeagol hurt. Don't let him, precious. Don't let him hurt our hands. No, not our hands, my love. Not if we speak the truth. So? The frail man! It forced us! It was him! Oh, that was easy. The old desert king. He's dead already. And he wouldn't have done it alone, weak as he was. He had two friends who helped him, but we don't know their names. Don't worry. We will find them. Take that as your first lesson. Never leave any witnesses. Candleman wants us. Don't call me that. Oh. You can go now. Oh, okay. Hi. Weeks again? That's a shrub, not a flower. How long is this listing going to take? Because I have my own very long listing to take Am care of. Am I in the tower? Do I live here now? the right name. Right for what? What's Eagle. going on? Deagle's riddle. Eagle. <sighs> very well. What's the measure? Measure? Of the verse, child. Your flower's name has to fit the verse. No breath, no cheer, death not to fear, time's not spent, mm -hmm. has no scent. Well, that could be almost any flower. Got him. Breathing holes. Now. Don't worry. He's in an amiable mood this morning. Back to breeding. This lady wasn't in my version. Did you not give the witch? Who, who did you talk to then? <laughs> it's 4 p.m. The time for the breeding golem. Amiable mood. <laughs> These days. Candleman's mood swings like a pendulum. Yes, and why, we wonders? It's that woman in there. That witch from the south. She's got into his head. Are we just friends now? He's gonna step on me. Oh. Oh, oh, what's she gonna do? I'm like a cat. Just walk in front of him. hungry. I want to stop playing this game and I want food. Maybe after this part. Why a bridge? That's what I don't understand. Not a crucial bridge either. A little setback, granted. But let's not fool ourselves. Actually, it's kind of fitting to play this game all hungry, right? Thinking about it, 
Maybe you deserve a second chance. Thank you, my lord. Come with me. Hi. Oh, what is this I hear? It's time for you to learn how to breed our carrier birds. This is the oven. As far as I understand, it's all about finding the right temperature. Yeah. Get used to the equipment. In the morning, I want to see results. But Smeagol doesn't know. He doesn't know how. Start with the oven. Each egg needs a different temperature. Which huh? egg you choose, that's up to you. That's all I can tell you. Our old breeder would have known more. Where is it, the old breeder? Gone. Don't forget to bring my keys right. when you're done. Breed a carrier bird. What's this? The old breeder liked to scratch. Hated that noise. Had to take his knife away. Hmm. So there's more of these, eh? What? What do you think? <laughs> it's a pot. You What's fill this? it with more mac, then you throw the egg in. What's this? What's the more this? Mac. It makes the birds smart and strong. White, brown, black. Each of them creates a different kind of bird. What's this? What's what's this? Oh, matching a brown one. Well, why not? What's this? <laughs> And now? Ah, the egg into the nest over there. And make sure you have a bird. <gasps> How does one make a bird? Eat. They will put our heads up on spikes for all to see. We won't let them, my dear. We will learn. What's this? <clears throat> These are the keys to the bird tower. Yes, don't lose them. <laughs> Okay. Okay, Gollum, now we have to hatch a bird for some reason for the Candleman. He wants a bird. Uh, I don't know why. So, we're going to do that, okay? Hatch a bird. Oh, precious. I'm not sure we're capable of that. But we must try. We must do whatever it takes to survive to evade the Candleman's wrath. Maybe we can find a bird's nest or steal some eggs and try to hatch them with the warmth of our bodies. Or we can try to catch a live bird and keep it from harm until it lays an egg. Either way, it won't be easy. What's behind the door, eh, we wonders? The old bird tower. Bird tower, eh? May we see it? Why would you? The place is in ruin and dangerous. Dangerous. What's this for, precious? That's the nest where you hatch the egg. Even I know that. Okay. Logs do we need? Don't ask me. <sighs> Wasn't asking you. Huh? Did it wrong? Black. I like the blackbirds. Okay. Yeah, everyone's just standing here for hours. All right, how many logs did I put in? Put in two. We'll do three. Leave it. You've got no idea what 
you the what fuck? you're doing. Oh, there must be something. How many... Egg, fire, stick, plus bellows. One, two, three, four. Bullshit. What do you want me to do? Use the bellows four times? You're missing something. Egg, fire, stick, plus bellows four times. It's a drawing. Yeah, that. Is there more than one drawing? Okay, four sticks and then two bellows. Love they put that back there for some reason. This is so dumb. <laughs> Only two logs? It says there's four sticks here though. Does it have to be a different colored egg? Why would they even give us multiple options then? That's the white one. Wait a minute. There's other drawings? Oh my god, you're right. The black one's three sticks and one, two, three, four bellows. Fuck. All right. That was brown. All right, we'll make it brown. Three sticks, and then four bellows. <laughs> Maybe now? Why is this in the game? Hmm. He eats it. Nice bird. 
This one is very nice. Do you know who this is? <laughs> Which king? Not him, the other one. <gasps> Aenor, the last king of Gondor. <laughs> Smeagol heard stories about the last king. <laughs> Long time ago, in the Willowlands, when the river was young, He's even a crossbow. King with bright eyes. He lived in a white city with silver towers. And in it, there was a stone like the moon. Oh, many a hundred years he ruled. Very just. Very just. Yes, that's how it's commonly told. Tell me how it ends. Never seen again. And he was never seen again. Show me. <laughs> It'll have to do. Put it in the cage. Okay. Just the little floor cage. You're the first being it has seen. It will love and serve you for the rest of its life. <laughs> what? Love, Sneakle. <laughs> How do you want to name it? Hey, so, uh, Gollum, looks like we hatched that baby bird and it's imprinted on us, so now it's gonna be our child forever. Um, should we give it a name? Like, little one, or does it not need a name? What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm losing it, guys. This is, uh... This is something. Hatched a baby bird? Oh, precious, that's good news. Gollum likes birds. Especially ones that love us and stay with us. Perhaps we can call it Little One. Yes, that is a good name. Or we can call it Precious Junior and teach it to love the precious, like we do. We will take care of it, protect it, and use it to our advantage if need be. Little One will be our new ally, Precious, and together we will survive. Yeah, maybe we'll just use it to our advantage. Loves us, does it? We shall call it Little One. Hmm. And you? You shall serve me now. Keep your eyes peeled and your ears open. Slaves, wardens, soldiers, anyone. What they say, what they eat, what they dream, I want to know. Show no qualm or pity. We are monsters, you and I. And monsters don't make friends. You're dismissed. You can go back to your cell. Talk to bird. That wasn't much of a talk. And thou, sweet child? Very well done. Now bring me more. I will, my lord, don't worry. His flaws are not mine. I know. Thou wilt be very helpful. Hello. So now what, we just go back to our cage? Yeah, I guess so. All right. Did you buy the $3 em emote DLC? I didn't, but I'm probably going to end up streaming this again for, against my better judgment. Years? Who is this? No, no, let me explain. Oh, shut up, Rush <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this 
guy's pathetic. <gasps> Stay back. What? Who are you? Ew, don't open your legs like that. Oh. Hey, uh, we just got a new cellmate, Gollum. He looks like a big fat dwarf and is really scared of us. Should we introduce ourselves as Gollum or Smeagol? What do you think? He's literally a little freak. Just kick him. Yeah? That works. He does look pretty tall to be a dwarf. New cellmate? Oh, precious. That can be good or bad, depending on how we handle it. As for our identity, we should always introduce ourselves as Gollum. Smeagol is too kind, too naive, and too trusting. We don't want to give our cellmate any false hope or let him think we're weak. But we can still be cunning and persuasive, make him see us as an ally, not an enemy. We can use our knowledge and our charm to extract information or to gain favor. But we must be careful, precious. We must not reveal too much or else our cellmate might turn on us. Ooh, true. Wait. Do you speak the, the, the common tongue? You, you talk? I didn't say anything. No talk. That one looks like a tasty morsel, doesn't he, love? Love? I'm love. sorry. Please don't bite me. Bite? <laughs> no, not now. Not if it keeps very quiet. Of course. Sorry. I, I just. Why does everyone call me Grashnik? <laughs> It's what we call the fresh ones, don't we? The most juicy ones. Grashnik. Well, uh, just just stay in your place. Just over there. Please. Yes. Oh, what was that? Time for work. Uh, uh, run, little slides. Oh, my God. Hold on. I'm going to order food. Should I? Should I stream until my food gets here? Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to figure out my, what I should do. Okay. Not sleeping. Promise. All right. We got about twenty minutes until my food arrives, and I'm off. It's okay to be a sleepy little guy. A sleepy little guy. Get moving. Yes, Move, sir. Move, Snaglob. Shut it. That's the sorcerer's little pet. And he doesn't like his pets to be spoiled, does he? That guy's like, move it! And the other one's like, yeah, move it! And he's like, shut the fuck up, dude! What the hell? You can't say that! <laughs> Gollum. Hey. What's the hold up? I'm running our stuff. Oak must be patient. Not easy to find new flasks. Patience doesn't buy me any favors. 
What? You've not explained who this person or what our relationship is. I don't. I, I. Beasts. You go down to the beasts. No, no, please. Please. You don't have to do that. Grah. You. Go with him and show him the ropes. But the candle man awaits us. Sounds like a golem problem to me. He knows beasts. my name. Ugh. Follow us, Crush Snake. Yeah, no way this guy survives the beasts. All right, it looks like we have to teach our new cellmate, the fat dwarf, how to herd those beasts from before. My favorite slave. Boot licking his way up the tower while the rest of us keep shoveling mud. And this one? Another fool from the desert? You work up here. So this is the worst part of the game? On both of you. No. Teach our new cellmate how to herd beasts? Oh, precious, that's going to be a challenge. But we must try. We must do whatever the Candleman commands if we want to survive. We can use our knowledge of the beast's habits and behaviors to our advantage. Use our persuasive skills to make the dwarf trust us. We will be patient, be kind, and use positive reinforcement to teach the dwarf how to herd the beasts. And who knows, maybe we can learn something from him too. When they say beasts, what, what, it's a long what speech. tag? Grashnag has a tag. Oh, this? No, 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 the tag for the cart. I had it. I always had it in my... Uh... It drives carts, does it? I was delivering food to the smelters. I'm sure somebody stole it. You mustn't worry about the beasts. The Smeagol helps. Helps good Grashnag survive. Yes. Yes, and trust the Smeagol. Here we are. Climb to the other side. First things first, the slaves chase the cattle. The cattle chases the slaves is. Ah, in other words, this one is going to trample me. Not if we guide him. Help Grashnank cage the Borox. Use the companion mode to send him to a target. <sighs> okay. Send companion. Waiting for. Yes! The fat one looks like a good face. Okay. Go over there. On my way. Uh oh. <laughs> I see. I see the predicament we're in. Okay. Try this again. Um, Go over there. The fat one looks like a good face. Desert man. On my way. Over there, see. That way. Not yet. Get over there. On my way. Over there, see. Yes. What's it wait? Uh, yes. Excuse me? Go, go! Yes, 
Can he hide? Oh. They just kind of sit there, huh? the others there are more oh i won't survive three days down here smeagol will help smeagol helps grashnik yes and grashnik helps smeagol nolem you are expected in the tower more spy work i wager <laughs> don't give away that i'm a spy immediately to the new guy that just showed up god damn He's in the war room. <laughs> the Black Queen, my favorite spider. Who's for months, room? she waits in her den for some unlucky prey. Just waits, perfectly still. And then, you don't appreciate my allegory. The virtue of patience, yes. So much to learn from nature. However, when the trap has been set for years and still no prey in sight, we know who starts to doubt that virtue, don't we? The Lord has nothing to worry about. That is what I wish to hear. I shall leave thee to it. Okay, bye. There you are. Thank you so much. Globa and Garib has climbed the silent stairs like the master wanted. Just master. Who does he want us to follow next? There are more urgent matters now. Come. <laughs> what matters, Master? Baggins. <gasps> I know that you once spoke of him to our Lord. Describe him for me. What did he look like? Baggins. Very dark. Where well, we met, very dark. Hardly saw him. A little thief. So he was a little creature then? Like you? Ooh. Okay, Gollum, this is a big decision. The Kendo Man wants to know about Bagginses. Do we lie or tell him the truth? I said Candleman. Did I? Baggins! Precious, that's a very important name. We must God. be very careful, very cunning when dealing with the Candleman. If we reveal everything we know, we might be putting ourselves in grave danger. But if we lie, we might be caught in our web of deceit. Perhaps we can give a little bit of truth mixed with a little bit of lies to create a story that's believable but not entirely truthful. We have to be smart, precious, and think on our feet. Love the energy, Gollum, but we got to make the decision right now. Do we sp speak the truth or speak a lie? I need to figure out how to make the AIs less centrist, you know? Lies may keep us alive, precious, but they but can truth. also come back to haunt us. Yeah. Better to speak the truth, but only what is necessary. We must be cryptic, be elusive, make the Candleman work for his information. That way we can stay true to ourselves, but not reveal too much. All right. I'll take it. Small, yes, small and fat. Barely got away, didn't it? But it cheated. I am like a cat. So he has been here for years, by the way. This has been years of him doing this shit. What else do you remember? Um. Large feet, large hairy feet with no shoes. 
That's how it sneaked away from us, the filthy cheat. What about his face? Okay, Gollum. We've told him the truth that Baggins is, had hairy feet, and was small. Now he wants, the Candleman wants to know about his face. Should we tell more truths or a lie? Maybe both. Hairy feet and small? Oh, precious, that's a good start. As for his face, we can tell the truth, but not everything. Perhaps we can describe his face in vague terms, or focus on a distinguishing feature, like a scar or a birthmark. We can also throw in a misleading detail, something that will make the Candleman second-guess his assumptions. But we must be careful, precious. We must not reveal too much or too little, or else we might fall into the Candleman's trap. The Candleman's trap. All right. It's a lie. Big eyes. Big black evil eyes. And it was bald, like a goblin imp. Why, as Master Ask? You need not worry about that. Say hello to your bird. Bird! Hello, little one. See? He worships you. Now it's time to put that devotion to use. is stronger and smarter than anything nature creates. See that jar hanging below me? There's a figurine hidden inside. Out of reach even for you, right? Well, not for your bird. You will make him fetch it for me. But first, a beast must learn obedience. Call him. Why am I... Why has Gollum got a bird companion? Little one... Looks like you've bred a rebel. Uh-oh. Well, go get him. Master asks about baggies. Why does it ask, eh? We wonders. Then stop wondering, because this doesn't concern you. <laughs> Master asks about baggies. Why does it ask, eh? We wonders. Then stop wondering. Because this doesn't concern you. that find it yes go and find baggins for the lord we promises go the lord will never let you leave trust me come nice bird don't be scared hey ah, master said it loves us love doesn't rule out fear Come back down here. If you cannot command, you must lure. Go and take some pieces of bread. Bird like crunchy bread? More likely the grain inside. Go. See if it allows you to feed it. Roll the bread. Okay. Bread, yes, nice tasty bread. See what a little grain can do. Now call him again. Nice bird, don't fly. Well done. Now remember the clay jar below me, out of reach for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> 
Point at it and send the bird to undo the knot. <laughs> Fuck. Bird like crunchy bread. More likely the grain. I was inside. just trying to get in a good position. See if it allows you to feed it. Nice bread, yes, nice tasty bread. See what a little grain can do. Now, call him again. Nice bird, don't fly. Well done. Little one. Now remember the clay jar below me. Harry. I will reach for both of us. Point at it. Little one, Harry. And send the bird to our little one, Harry. Right. What's wrong with you? What's it waiting for? It did it. It does what we says. Yes. They do not care who we are or what we have done. Unconditional loyalty. Be that as it may, the figurine is still out of reach. Does not care. We are the bad guys. This is so bizarre. Yeah, I... Tonally... Just wild decision. <laughs> do not know what this is meant to... Uh, Getting that. They're just exploring <laughs> the backstory of Gollum's famous we bird. It. Come up here. Good bird. We're not eating this one, are we, precious? We must find this baggins before the elves do. You understand that, don't you? You know the elves, and they're cunning. They want to fill our Middle Earth with starlight. And Ew. They, they will know all we have done. All we have done. But fear not. We will find the Shire and kill every Baggins we can find. And then you and I and all of us will finally be free. We just need to be patient. Can you be patient? Patient, yes, we are. We has been. Hey, Wilbo. Like you spiders. finish your work and this nonsense very, very is still going? Patient. Yeah. Good. For I'm waiting for my I. food to get here. But now it is time for you to tell me. <laughs> tell him what? About this treasure that Baggins stole from you. Treasure? What treasure? My lord. The mouth is asking for you, my lord. Again? I must go. Return the bird to his cage. You and I will talk tomorrow. Phew, saved by the mouth. Don't touch anything in there. Gollum crawls through mud. Gollum runs through beasts. Gollum breeds slimy orklings. Gollum has been patient. Oh, yes. He's gonna get in trouble. Well, I guess I am a spy. Oh. What are you doing, Gollum? What exactly are we looking for? If I knew, I would have told you. It's the daughter. Wouldn't I? It's the daughter. Search over there. Yes, mistress. What does it want? Closer. Find out what it's up to. Well, <laughs> the fucking what candle man's walking looking for? through his halls, and he just hears a crunch, and there's a golem dead on the fucking banister outside. Yes, mistress. Don't disturb his books. He keeps a system. It's spying on the master. 
There's nothing here. The master. I'll go look in the study. Shh. Watch. My food's not what here does yet. It want? Closer. Wish it was. Find out what it's up to. Talking about me like I'm not even here. <laughs> Game really makes you feel like a freak. You know, I will say that. You're right. They really nailed how freaky Goblin it Goblin Gollum is. It's just a little freak. Here we go. Here we go, dear father. God, what is it? A message from Snoda, one of his searchers. New information about a place called Shire. Meet at noon. Shire. Mm. This might be something the mouse could use. Shire. Baggins. Come. Use how? Again, I tell you if I knew. Let's collect that message. You stay behind and clear this place up. Make sure we leave no traces. How did this door open? Window. Who hey. hey. wants to find baggies? Oh, stay close to them, precious. Gollum. I think the daughter of the Candleman is trying to find the Shire and Bagginses before we do. We must find a way out. What Shire? That's an oddly vague name. A cipher, maybe. You think Snara will just hand you his information? I'm the Candleman's daughter, am I not? It's hard to tell at times. The daughter of the Candleman? Oh, precious, that's very bad news. She's probably very clever, very cunning, and very dangerous. But Gollum is clever, too, and we must use our skills to outrun her or to throw her off our trail. Perhaps we can find a hidden path or a secret tunnel that only we know about. Or we can create a diversion, something that will cause her to go in the wrong direction. We must think fast, precious, and be ready to act at a moment's notice. Good thinking. Gollum, do you have any ideas of how we could throw her off? Any suggestions? Throwing her off won't be easy, precious, but Gollum has a few ideas. We can plant false evidence, like a map that leads her in the wrong direction. Or we can leave a trail that ends abruptly, as if we disappeared into thin air. We can also use disguises, change our appearance in order to look like someone else. But we must disguises? be very careful, very sneaky, and very convincing. The daughter of the Candleman is probably very smart, and we must not underestimate her. That's a great idea, Gollum. Maybe a fake mustache would work as a disguise. I did not have heard that. Have you seen him? <laughs> not since the early morning. He's probably out on watch duty. A fake mustache. Oh, precious, that's a good idea. We can use it to change our appearance, to look like someone else. 
but we must also use other disguises, like a hat or a cloak, to complete the transformation. And we must practice our acting skills so that we can convincingly play a part. We must be very convincing, very sly, if we want to fool the daughter of the Candleman. But with a fake mustache and some good acting, we just might be able to do it. quick. Good idea, Gollum. Let's practice those acting skills. We'll do a scene where I pretend to be the daughter of the Candleman, and you pretend to be someone that isn't Gollum with a fake mustache and a hat. Yes, he does. So let's keep working. Prayers alone will not build this bridge. Oops. Practice our acting skills? Oh, precious, that's a good idea. Let's do a scene where you pretend to be the daughter of the Candleman, and I'll pretend to be someone else. Someone that's not Gollum. I'll wear my fake mustache and a hat, and use a different voice and mannerisms. We'll act out a conversation and try to make it as convincing as possible. You, this will be good practice for when we have you to fool the real daughter of the Candleman. Yes, mistress. Alright, let's begin. Hi there, Gollum. Hi. We're looking for Sauron. Great Hello there, miss. What can I do for you today? Gollum, you already messed up. You responded when I said Gollum. Snara, have you seen him? <laughs> Snara, I saw him talk to the master. Good. It did sound like SpongeBob. <laughs> oh, apologies, miss. I am but a simple traveler passing through these parts. What brings you to this area? I'm looking for Gollum. He's a little disgusting creature with an ugly face and clammy hands and eats fish all the time. Too far away. Mustn't lose them. Snara, I'm told you know where he is. He's watching over Hill Four. Ah, I see. Gollum, you say? I'm afraid I haven't seen him around here, miss. But if you give me a moment, I can ask around and see if anyone has heard of him. He sounds like a very interesting character. I'm trying to focus on this scene while playing the game. Come on, what's the older? That damn witch again, working on it. Have I seen you before? You look familiar. I like your mustache, though. Very dashing. you kindly, miss. I'm flattered that you noticed my mustache. Maybe you've seen me before in another town or at a gathering, but I haven't had the pleasure of meeting you until now. Is there anything else you're looking for, miss? Perhaps I can assist you in some way. Yes, I'm looking for the Shire and trying to find someone by the name of Bagginses. I think they have something precious to me and I would like it for myself. Ah, uh, the Shire and a certain Bagginses, you say? I've heard of them, but my knowledge is very limited, I'm afraid. If you would like, I can give you some basic directions to the Shire, but as for finding a specific person, I'm afraid I cannot be of much help in that regard. Sure, can you point me in the right direction? What's to talk about Baggins, does it? Where is it? Where is it now? Go! Certainly, miss. If you head north along the river, you'll eventually come across a small village. From there, you can follow the winding path to the east, and you should soon find yourself in the Shire. But be warned, the path can be treacherous and filled with dangers, so I advise you to tread cautiously. Is that real directions?
he's deceiving you. Oh, those are fake directions. The Shire's in the west. Very clever. Very well. Uh, begins to walk down the path to the east, cleverly going the opposite direction of the Shire. Gollum has done a good job with this role play. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Yes, they will. In our cell, sleeping glass. As the daughter of the Candleman walks down the path to the east, Gollum smiles to himself, knowing that his plan has worked. He removes his fake mustache and hat and returns to his true form as Gollum. Good job, precious, he whispers Yay. to himself. Yes, we fooled her for now, but we must not let our guard we down, for well. she may be smarter than we think. Evil men and and scene. Thanks, everyone. Them all. Then find it and hold it and be invisible again. It is time. Old Gollum is ready to vanish. <laughs> That's actually how the game ends. <laughs> he takes off his mustache and fake hat. I can't believe they called back to that. Me? Oh, well, I was a soldier. Not a very good one. First battle, I got scared. So I ran. Obviously, I'm not good at running either. He can't run carts. A Smeagol can't do that. He sucks. Yeah, I couldn't remember what a me <laughs> what a wheel was, but the beetles haunted him for years. The rest snakes should get some sleep. I don't think I can. Aww. I can't take my eyes off that tower. Sleep. Smeagol will keep watch. Aren't you tired? Of course we are, of course. So tired. But Smeagol can bear it. He has bought lots of things he has for a very, very long time. All right. Well, that's the end of the chapter. Uh-oh. How many more years has it passed? Wants to pick the nicest maggots, doesn't he? From the nicest bread. What are you talking about? Where are my flasks? We've got a better thing than flasks, better than dreams, better than sleep. A number. A number? One that will earn his master's gratitude. Closer. So we can tell him what we learned about the Candleman spy and who murdered him tonight. Ooh. Ooh. Huh. How I hate the horn. Here they come. Which one is he? The fat one. You. Number. My. Your number. Ten, sixty, ninety-two, twenty-one. That's the one. You come with us. Ooh. Oh, why? Krasnik has done nothing wrong. We swears. Just a couple of questions. Nothing to worry about. Why <laughs> would we sell out our only ally immediately? 
Now it counts. One more time. One more. First, steal key to the bird tower. Second, up, up the bird tower to the execution chamber, where we wait for who? The crash thing. And then, through the drain and to the bridge. But what if Grashnik doesn't want to go? What choice would it have? What then? Hiding great. Grashnik drives the cart. Bird rings the bell. Gate opens. Bird and rings off the bell. we goes. Off. Off we goes. Off we goes. It's a good plan, my love. It's going to be another beetle to mess up this plan. You have food or something? It's supposed to be here soon. Is Craig and the AI mentioned the title? No, in fact. All right, Gollum, we're finally ready to put our plan of escape in place. Are you ready? Escape? Oh, precious, that's music to my ears. Yes, I'm ready. What is the plan? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do this from memory. Step one, we're gonna steal the keys to the bird tower from the Candleman's office. Step two, we're going to find the fat dwarf, our cellmate, who is on his way to the execution chamber. Step three, we're gonna set him free from the execution chamber and use him to drive a cart that we hide in to get outside of the city limits. And step four, we use our bird to ring the bell that opens the gate that will let us out of the uh, prison. Was I close? Hi, where are you going? Stealing keys, freeing dwarves, and ringing bells. Oh, precious, that sounds like an adventure. I'm ready for anything. But we must be careful, very careful, and make sure that we don't get caught. The Candleman and his daughter are very smart, and they won't take kindly to our escape. But with your clever planning and my quick reflexes, we just but might be able to pull it off. Let's do this, room. precious. All right, I might leave this for next time though, because my food's about to arrive. He's so yesified, it's insane. Yeah, he really is. Your army. We won't stay long. Did he call for you already? Gollum has a long list of things to do. Yeah, I think we'll we'll stop here because this is a good uh a good bit to pick up from next time. But um yeah, you know, I might stream this tomorrow. I don't know what my plans are tomorrow, but if if I don't have other ones then we might try to keep going. How long what, this is a been almost a five hour stream, dude. Are we really gonna finish this game? Made that surprisingly painless. Wow, thanks. I'm glad you guys seem to enjoy it. 11 hours is what you did You did it in? Okay, so probably three streams, unless I'm feeling particularly uh, terrible. Then I will do another one, but I'll do it in the second one, but. Anyway, that's it. Download content, God. All right, we'll see. I might get the emote pack or something. You managed to make an awful game tolerable? Thanks, guys. You know, I think we had fun. In, long, in much part due to our, our Gollum AI. Actually, I gotta tell him that we're not doing the... Hey, Gollum, I know the plan's really good, but I think let's do it tomorrow because I'm tired and I need to eat some food. So, 
How about we just do it tomorrow instead? Is that okay? Tomorrow sounds good, precious. Rest well and eat heartily. We'll need all our strength for the escape. I'll be ready when you are. Aww. Thanks, Gollum. I hope you sleep well and dream of the precious. Okay? Good night, buddy. Good night, precious. Sleep well and may our dreams be filled with the precious. <laughs> yeah, you too. Oh, boy. This is a weird dynamic. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. And I'll see you tomorrow for some more. And, uh... Yeah, have a good rest of your night, okay? Golem part two. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.